Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to all of you. How are you all doing? And let's just remove the cover from the camera. Welcome to everyone. Thank you very much for joining me from the very start. It is half past seven. We've got a good couple of hours of oblivion ahead of us. I can see a couple of people typing for the first time. Just so you know, guys, if you're a first time chatter on this Twitch channel, I can actually see a little narc by your name. It says first time chatter. So I'm going to specifically call you out. I'm going to embarrass you like that one. See? Akuma. I can see it says first time chat at Pog first time. There we go. Alistair. Yo, says Oscar. Don't test me. It is there and I will keep doing this for the entire time. Thank you. Oh my goodness. 99 Slayer. Thank you very, very much for gifting some subs out to people. That is remarkably, remarkably kind of you. Hello, Josh. Love your videos. Thank you. As you should. As you should be on. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hopefully you've all had a lovely day. What's everyone been up to today? Um, hello, says, uh, is that Uzbekistan? Amazing, you've got that name. Well done. Right, how is everyone? Uh, let's... Okay, everyone stop having fun. Back to serious Oblivion gameplay right now. So for those of you who haven't been here before, if you've never been in the stream, if you've not been involved before, allow me to explain what's going to go on. I've never played Oblivion. I know. I'm sorry about that as well. I've never played Oblivion. But I have created a character. I say I have created a character. We have created a character. The character we've created is questionable at best. I understand that the Oblivion character creator should probably have been more limited than it is. Um, it turns out if you just slide every character creation slider to one extreme or the other, this is what you end up with. And yeah, this is his face is actually specifically designed to deflect arrows. That's what it is. If you face your enemy just straight on, it's very hard to hit this guy with a spear or with an arrow, with anything pointy. And the the character's name, obviously, is Twitch Chat. Do you want to go out the room? Go on, then, Leah. The character's name is Twitch Chat because I made this character and none of you stopped me. No one said, hey, Josh, this is a bad idea. No one stood up. I am surrounded by yes men. That's the problem. I don't want to be surrounded by yes men. I want to have people green screen. Come on, we can work together on this. We can be less. There we go. I don't want to be surrounded by yes men. I want to be surrounded by people who call me out on my decisions. And no one called me out on this decision. This was a bad decision. And yet no one said, hey, Josh, maybe don't do that. Uh, so Josh Flatface, that's what it is right now. So now we're going back to, uh, to Oblivion. Just so you're all aware, I don't have any weapons. I've got two... The only two weapons I need are my fist. I am literally punching my way through all of it. Hey, Josh, maybe don't do that. Frostbane, don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Right, let's do this. So, uh, we needed a... Let's just watch that guard go away. We have got a load of quests. Uh, the quests we're on right now... Captain Bird told me no strangers were in town, although he said the Jerl had returned from a trip. I should talk to Jerl. You know what? I should talk to Jerl. Me and Jerl going to have words. Um, now, I, I may have failed at picking the locks, so I may have done one thing off stream. I may have bought an absolute ton of lock picks so we can just blitz through this. As someone who really gets into the cookie-cut mobile game, 40k Crusade, its enjoyability comes less from the core gameplay and more from the wider group of content that starts with... Yeah. Anything is fun with a group of people who want to make it fun. You can take anything and put fun people into it and suddenly it becomes fun. The problem is when you do that, what you're then doing is saying, hey, this thing that we've made... It's not actually fun. All it is, is a catalyst for finding people who want to sit together and have fun. If that's all it is, if all it is, is a binding agent for people who are also fun, then as soon as another better binding agent comes along, everyone will move and have fun with that. That's the problem. You can make anything fun if you play it with the right people. You can make anything fun if you do it with the right people. When I play a mobile game, I'm playing it and evaluating it as a game, not necessarily as a social facilitator. Because if you want a social facilitator, you can take literally anything. And if you're going to do that, if you're going to say, hey, this game isn't fun, but it's a social facilitator, we can say, okay, how about a better social facilitator? How about one with more chat? How about one with less monetization? How about one with easier access? How about one with more you know, systems to actually engage in gameplay with other people. I get 
why people are playing it. And I will never say that you are individually wrong for enjoying something. If you have fun, cool. I'm happy that you're having fun. But when people come and say, hey, uh, Josh, I, d I didn't appreciate your review on this because I personally enjoy it. OK, cool. I didn't say you were wrong. I will never say you're wrong. You're not wrong for having fun. But when people come and say, hey, you would have fun if you did this. OK, why didn't the game tell me that? If you love a game and you think I would have fun if I did something else and you think there is a stronger part to the game, why isn't the game focusing on that strength? And if it's not, that's a weak design aspect that you have just found from the game. Which means you can then sit back and say, hey, actually, this game is designed poorly because it is fun at these levels, but it doesn't do anything to get the player to those levels. If game is fun 50 hours in, why do first 50 hours exist? I don't understand that. It's like saying, hey, this movie franchise gets really good four minutes in. Okay? Cut the first four minutes. Simple as. You need to cut, yeah, rites of passage. I suffered, therefore you should too. And then later, why is the game dying? World building. You can do good world building while still being fun. If you have to suffer to get to the good bit of the game, and then you wonder why your game is dying, maybe it's because of all the suffering you're forcing people to go through before it gets good. Right, this is how we're going to lockpick. Oh, I was going to spam click auto attempt, and then it, it did it on the second one. All right, Jill, where are you, Jill? You Jill? That's not Jill, that's a watermelon. He, he's not here. I thought he'd be here. Where, if I were Jill... What's in here, Jill? What's in your cupboard? No, nothing. Oh, oh, there's a basement. Thank you very much for the subscriptions, by the way, guys. That is remarkably kind of all of you. Have I stopped playing New World? Yes. Yes, because I'm not playing it right now. If I'm not playing it right now, I'm taking this watermelon. If I'm not playing it immediately, I have... Did I mother this told? Nope, this is 100% pure vanilla oblivion. Let's go down into the basement. It's locked. Not a problem. I've got an absolute... What do I think of crypto in general? I think it's stupid. I think crypto is beanie babies. I think crypto is... Hey, this is really valuable. Okay, to who? To anyone who's going to buy it. Okay, so does it have any inherent actual value? No. It's just valuable if people want to buy it. Okay, what if no one wants to buy it? Oh, then it stops being valuable at all. Oh, so it its value comes on the idea that other people want it. Yeah. What happens when other people stop wanting it? Oh, then it becomes worthless and I've wasted all my money. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't do that. And people are like, yeah, but money's the same. Yeah, money's backed by governments and institutions and businesses and laws. And I can go to pretty much any shop. I understand that money is built on the same foundation that crypto is built on. The difference is that money won. Like, money money succeeded, and crypto yet hasn't succeeded, and is just being pushed by people who want you to buy it from them. Like, if crypto was so good, why do all the crypto bros want me to get into it? If it was good, surely you'd want to keep it for yourself. The only reason you want me to get into it is because me getting into it brings more people into it, which inherently makes the absolute backless value go up because more people want it. It's a you want me to get into it, so your your investment has value because I want your investment, but I I don't. Like people go, oh, do you want a, do you want a Bitcoin? I'd I'd sell it, but I wouldn't keep it. Yeah, it's um, it's very silly. And people always then go, oh, you can use crypto to, to, to do transactions that the government aren't aware of. So, money. I mean, I, I can go and pay for something with a £10 note to somebody else, and we, we don't need to tell the government. I don't need to phone up the Prime Minister and be like, hey, just so you know, I just bought some second-hand Warhammer models from this dude that I found on Gumtree. Um, can you can you just make sure the taxman knows about that? 
And he's like, yeah, sure, Josh, I'll make sure the taxman knows about that. We'll sort that all out. How much is the the, the one model's worth? Oh, they're worth 20 quid, so actually I'm going to owe you. Right. You can use crypto to buy things without people knowing about them. You can use anything to buy things if you just don't tell people. We can use it to be clandestine. You can use anything to be clandestine. That's the point of being clandestine. You don't tell people you've done it. Let's play Oblivion. <laughs> Let's pick into this dude's basement. Let's ask him what the hell he thinks about crypto. What do I think about multi-level marketing schemes? I think they're about as clever as crypto. Hey, hun. Haven't seen you since high school. XOXO heart. Do you want to be a boss, babe? Do you want to set your own hours? Do you want to work from home? Do you want to run your own company? Then register a company with the government, with Companies House. Next time someone says, I run my own company, can you shut the company down whenever you want to? Well, no, then you don't run the company. I'm a boss, babe. Do you have staff that you pay and can fire? No, then you are not. You are a contractor for this company. Please do not, do not join a multi-level marketing scheme. Do not join Duterra. Do not join Herbalife. Do not join anything that tells you that you could have unlimited earning potential. Because if you have unlimited earning potential and you still have someone who's above you in the company, then they have unlimited earning potential based off what you earn. Work for yourself if you're going to do that. You want to work for a company? Absolutely fine. I've worked for many good companies in my life. But if you're going to do that, work for a company that is straight and honest and values you as a person, not as a cult member. Sorry, I feel quite passionate about this because I've lost friends to it before. I've lost friends who have been like, hey, Josh, you could buy all these milkshakes. You buy these knives and you can buy these things. And you buy these stuff. No. Josh is wearing one of those suits they put on serial killers when they've been caught. Yes. Can I become one of your employees? As soon as I start employing people, then yeah, sure. I'll work out something you can do. Jill's orders. Back to... This is why we're never going to finish Oblivion. We're, we're like... I've played the game for like nine hours so far. We're like 20 minutes into the story. I found a document in Jill's basement that reveals the enemy's plans. I should show this to Joffrey. The Master was pleased to hear of your activities outside of Coral. The more gates that we open, the nearer we are to the glorious cleansing. Ah, Oblivion gates. I see. Stuff like that. The Master has chosen you and Faveri for a most crucial mission, a sign of your advancement through the ranks of the Chosen. We have learned the Septim Heir has gone to ground at Cloud Ruler Temple. Oh, bollocks, they know where we are. The Lair of the Accursed Blades. The Master has made its destruction the top priority of the Order, and Lord Dagon has committed whatever resources are required. Pending your report on Septim's activities at Cloud Ruler Temple, your assessment of Temple's defences and possible route of escape, we plan to open a great gate in the open ground, before Bruma, as soon as possible. Remember, the first three lesser gates represent only the preliminary stages of the Great Gate deployment. All right, so we need to go and warn these dudes. Yeah, that, that's a problem. Hey, a book. Uh, we'll take you. You seem important. What's in here? A door to Bruma Caverns. Lockpick. First time. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you very much for the subs, by the way. Remarkably kind of all of you. Hopefully everyone's having a lovely day. 30 picks. Hey. Hey. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that 30 lockpicks failed and one succeeded. What matters is the one that succeeded. Have we been here before? Like, no, we haven't been here before. Let's see what that looks. Oh, I think we've been here before because Oblivion has like three cave designs. And then everything else is just literally identical to every other cave design. Right, let's see what's down here. Let's find something to punch. Bruma. Why would that dude's house be connected to caverns as well? Like, what's he? A rat! Yeah! Our battle will be glorious. And it was glorious. I enjoyed the glory. Thank you, rat. Okay, I think we're about to escape. Who are you? Oh. Give me your crotch. This is how we deal with your kind. Don't you dare tell me to die. I'll tell you to... Yeah, no you. I'm rubber. You're dead. The Mythic Dawn agent named Jerl is dead. I should report to Joffrey, but both the Mythic Dawn spies are dead. Excellent. There we go. Isn't your house connected to a cavern? No, all English houses are connected to a large tunnel which takes us directly to the Queen. That's how it works. 
door to the mountains. Am I using graphical mods? I'm not using any mods at all. I'm playing... I mean, look. look does this look like the face of modding to you? All right, I am not playing it. The guy, it's the guy whose headbutts do slash damage. Yeah, that's what it is. If this guy dived straight at you, it would impale you. That's what it would do. You got that horse armor DLC. I hope so. I don't think I've got it yet, but I would definitely wear it. All right, where are we going now? Let's uh, open the map again. We've got to get back to... Oh, actually, just straight north of where we are. Sweet. That's uh, not too far away at all. I can do that. He looks like me. That is the the face of the epitome of mods. The face is the epitome of not changing anything in Oblivion. This is just this is the way Todd Howard intended it to be played. Oblivion as Todd Howard meant it to be played. What was the job you doing before you packed all that in to entertain us degenerates? Oh, logic bomb. I've done so many jobs in my life. I've done I worked as a teacher for a bit, because every aspiring actor has to work as a teacher at some point. It's the law. Like, if you want to become an actor one day, you legally have to work as a teacher for, like, at least six months. That It just seems to be a thing that happens. Every single actor I've ever met, I'm like, uh, oh, you're an actor. They're like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm teaching now. So, yeah, that's just how it works. You have to... Hang on, let me just... Let me just... Give me your crotch. The Adventures of Crotch Puncher. Yeah, I <laughs> hit his face on the rock on the way down. I shouldn't... A lockpick, thank you, you're very important. I shouldn't laugh, but it was funny, so I will. Uh, is this a fully unarmed playthrough? No, it's a fully two-armed playthrough. You don't need weapons when you've got hands, all right? I've got thunder and lightning right here. I don't need your weak weapons, your cowardly blades. Yeah, this is what it's going to be. Uh, but no, before that, I worked in retail for a bit. I've done my time in the retail trenches. I was a retail supervisor. I stood behind the tills and sold people junk and wished them a nice day. You know, I've, I've done all that. Uh, yeah, teaching. Teaching was fun, to be fair. I enjoy teaching. I love working. I love working with people who want to learn. That's an important thing. I really love w working with people who want to learn something. If you don't want to learn something, this is why teaching in regular state schools is awful. Because they say, hey, here's a class of 30 kids. Entertain them for the next hour. And I'm thinking, they don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. That's the way it works. Ah. Twitch chat, the crotch puncher. Indeed, that's the one it is. What was the stone? I'll go back and have a look in a second. Fenwell, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Remarkably, remarkably kind of you. Josh, uh, Velbros needs the... Oh, VIP, I see. Julie, thank you for reminding me. If any of you have any VIP stuff that I miss, please let me know. I do try as hard as I can to grab the VIPs. I know that... Uh, I do miss a few because I'm just... There's so much chat and I'm punching so many crotches. Just so many. Velbros, let me grab you the VIP right there for you, mate. We'll sort that all out for you. There we go. Oh, Julie, I got the uh, the card. Thank you very much. That was remarkably kind of you. Excellent design choice, by the way. Very, very... Do I have an OnlyFans? No, not yet. One day maybe I will. As soon as the money starts running dry. As soon as I... Uh, as soon as I think, you know what? The problem with having an OnlyFans is the moment you put one picture up, I've got a Discord with like 4,000 people. It will immediately be shared. Like straight away. Just immediately. That's what it'll be. I'll put one picture up. Someone will pay like two quid for it. And it'll straight away be, hey, here's, here's this shared on the subreddit. Here's this shared on the Discord. Here's this email to everyone. It'll be, just ask them nicely not to. Yeah, give the people what they want. Don't rely on OnlyFans. Exclusive calf pictures. I could just make a... I, when I do OnlyFans, I'll just have pictures of my fans in my computer. That's what it will be. OnlyFans get money through pictures, like crypto. At least OnlyFans makes sense. You've actually got something. Okay, so we were told that the Mythic Dawn were about to go and they knew where we were. So I'm, I've got a kind of bad feeling about this because all the guards are gone. Like, I hope Sean Bean's okay. I know he's not going to be, but I really hope he is. Sean, Sean Bean, where are... No, he's good. Hey, Joffrey, I've killed the spies. What have you learned about the spies? Oh, so much. Uh, here's, here's a piece of paper. No, the gods chose me for my good looks. Yeah, we'll be attacked in Bruma. Red, thank you very much for the sub. Remarkably kind of you. Josh, post pics of your feet on OnlyFans and I will unsub, I'm not going to lie. Don't threaten me and not go through with it, Snooker. 
All right, so quest updated spies. What do we do now? Um, Barros, maybe? I'm glad to have Boris here. Yeah, he's cool. What about the, the temple? This place was built. Yeah, that's not going to help. Um, where now? I will. Martin Barr, oh, come here, Sean. Binge watch your worst MMO series while playing New World. Thanks for making it. You are more than welcome, Rico. Hopefully you've had a good time. Welcome to the Twitch stream. Oh, the blood of a Daedra Lord. That doesn't sound good, Martin. In fact, Daedric artifacts are known to be formed from the essence of the Daedric Lord, from whence they derive their great power. Not an easy thing to come by, obviously, but we will need a Daedric artifact. Oh, we need a Daedric... Where, where are we going to find a Daedric artifact? Thank you very much, Zeta. Remarkably kind of you. All right, so we go and get that. Okay, cool. So we need to go and find a Daedric artifact. And to do that, we need to uh, read Modern Heretics for information about where that may be. So we need to find Modern Heretics. Mo there it is. It's right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. What a brilliant, brilliant thing. The book Modern Heretics describes the location of the Shrine of Azura. Perhaps if I visit this shrine, I can learn how to obtain a Daedric artifact. Okay, I hope we've all read that. That was good. The Shrine of Azura. If I were the Shrine of Azura, where would I be? That's the question now. I would be there. And where am I? I am there. Okay, right. Through the mountains it is we go. Let's take a quick jaunt through the mountains while I chat to all of you gorgeous people. Random thank you for the Prime Sub, and thank you very much, Osito. Osito to Dancer? Awesome. Girl, first person I ever subbed to. Mira, thank you. I'm just... I like playing games, I like chatting to people, I like having a good time, and I want to entertain people with, with chat. That's how things work. So, we need to go that way for quite a long way, and we've. I'm not using quick travel because I'm hardcore like that. Uh, so we're just going to walk that way. That's where we need to be, Azura's Shrine. And while we walk that way and we admire, admire Oblivion, we can chat. Guys, what have you been up to? Tell me what you've been doing. Regale me with tales of your week. I'll tell you of my week. So, you know how every Monday I'm doing the second channel Josh Drive Plays? Well, I've been doing the votes for what games you wanted me to play. And the game that won was a game that I really didn't want to play. I have, in the last 12 hours, finished Amnesia. And I'm not going to lie, it's really scary. I am not a fan of horror games because I get scared very, very easily. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm some tough guy that doesn't. Horror games will scare you if you let them scare you. Like, if you go into the game with the whole kind of attitude of, I'm not going to be scared, I'm going to have the lights on, I'm going to have music playing, oh, this is boring, oh, it's going to be stupid and silly. Right, you're not going to be scared like that. It's the same approach as, you know, watching a comedy film, sitting down and saying, I'm not going to laugh, I'm not going to find this funny, I'm going to be on my phone the whole time, it's just boring and stuff like that. Horror games will reward you with fear if you voluntarily put several things into place. If you play it on your own if you play it with the lights off, if you play it with the sound up, if you get into the game, if you get into the game, if you give it a go, if you really give it a go, if you let it scare you, there's a lot to be scared by. There really, truly is. Yeah. Getting your booster vab. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations for that. You played it blind. I did. I really did. Could you show off your character again? He's beautiful, isn't he? Look at him. Look at him. Look at the beauty that is Twitch chat. That's his name. Because you all made this happen. It's majestic. Look at us. Look at us. Look at you. Look at all of you. That's what... Dear God, kill it. Oh, the game's going to try to. Don't you worry. Beloved Twitch chat. We need that face as an emote. You know what? I'll make that happen. We will get that face applied as an emote. Uh, for now, we just need to walk really far to get to uh, to get to this place. Are you guys okay with it in first person, or do you prefer it in third person? What's easier to keep up with? I like the first person, but I'm more than happy to uh, to stick it in third person if you guys prefer that. Not with those fists. 
Squish, thank you. First person, yeah. People like it in first person. I like it in first person. Because we, we get to see the fists. Let's just... Oh, I was going to say let's just wait. So we can uh, enjoy the sunshine. But apparently you can't wait when there are enemies nearby. He is so much more than a prime specimen. <laughs> Twitch chat is Amazon Prime as a person. I was going to try and wait. You cannot wait when there are enemies nearby. Where are the enemies? Like, there's nothing... Are you an enemy? Nope, you're a mushroom. There's no enemies nearby. There's nothing dangerous. I swear to God, the game thinks everything is dangerous. Oh, God. I have not. No, I have not, Growler. I will look into it, though. I will add it to the list. There's a The list of games I still need to play is long. It is a long-ass list. At least the darkness hides the monstrous face. That's why I want it back. I want the, the light out so I can have people see my face. Oh, the... Oh, hang on. Were these the people that I punched because they annoyed me? They might have been. Did I punch you? Who are you? Why do you invade our place of worship? Surely you don't think yourself worthy to visit Namira's shrine. Wow. Tell me about the shrine of Namira. A place of blessed darkness. A holy place where we may worship in our wretchedness. Why are you here? I mean, I'm I. I want to worship with you. I want to worship Manira. You do. You are too pretty to worship in his place. Thank you. People like you like to hear you talk. When you are more loathsome, you may return. I may return when people dislike me. I'm done talking to you. All right. Let's just solve that problem right now. Okay, you're actually really tough. I'll come... Right, let's just chill. Let's all take a moment to think before we do something rash. Your sword is very sharp. And you have a lot more health than I do. Let's just... Hang on, let's get some healing stuff up. She called me pretty... She called you all pretty, guys. You're all pretty. You're all gorgeous people. Apparently, you're not allowed to worship at the Shrine of Namira. Uh, unless people dislike you, so I thought you know we could we can quite easily make her dislike us. It's just we can solve this. You are the Harrier, you say? She, she's unconscious. That final punch, good God, that was one punch man levels of punching. She's unconscious. We can't. Uh, can we? Can we not kill her? Ha! <laughs> Oh, no, she gets back up. Oh, that means she's obviously a named character. Right, she's unconscious, that's fine. While she's unconscious, we can go and worship. She can't stop us. She can't stop us worshipping. Alright, I'm going to worship some stuff. You are not the type of follower Nymeria requires. Fine. You know what? F fine. I don't even want to worship Nymeria. She's dumb anyway. That's a dumb goddess. Such a picky god. She, yeah, she's essential for the Nymeria quest. Well, she's not essential for the fist quest, is she? So it doesn't matter. We only need to care about the only quest worth doing, which is punching our way through oblivion. You don't need a... See? That wolf didn't know. He had no idea. Your hand-to-hand -hand has increased. Good. I mean, I've not even used mods to make my hand-to-hand -hand skill higher. But if I did, that's the one thing I would put all the way. Not the wolf. The wolf was there. Can't let this get us down. There are plenty of Daedric gods in the area. There are. There are plenty of Daedric gods. We're not even close. What's that? That is the Fort Horon. We're going to run past Fort Horon. Then we'll get to the other Namira. We found Red Ruby Cave. Excellent. Should we go in? I don't know what's in there. I don't think we have a reason to go in. I can't seem to find the entrance to it anywhere. Uh, do we have a specific reason to go or not to go into Red Ruby Cave? I don't know if we do, but it might be a quest thing later. Punch a god. That's the plan. That's the plan. Where is Red Ruby Cave? Oh, Ice Methods. Fantastic. Let's just punch you in the ass. Excellent. You're dead. Ah, there's Red Ruby Cave. Let's just punch you some more. Oh, he kicked me. Use of the legs. That's illegal. That goes against the imp rules of combat. 
now. We'll come back to here later. We'll do it at some other point. Will I be doing any extras on Tangent Tavern? Yeah, if we can get people who want to come on, absolutely. If me and Cal can both be free at the same time that somebody else free is, we are more than happy to have them on. We will be doing many, many, many more Tangent Taverns. I enjoy it because I like chatting to Cal. I think he's funny. I think he's knowledgeable. He's insightful. Oh, guys, as well, the Tangent Tavern actually got sponsored. Callum got approached by a sponsor for the Tangent Tavern. Callum was approached by Manscaped. You know, Manscaped, the Razor people. And they said, hey, guys, can we sponsor you? And we went, well, we don't know because we don't want to lie to listeners. I'd, I will never say a product is good if it isn't. So Manscaped said, that's fair. How about we just send you, like, you know, a couple of hundred dollars worth of razors so you can try them out. And if they're good, just say they're good. No money, just stuff. And we went, sweet. Sweet. Geras, it's not depressing. I can read it. I do read the Twitch chat. I'm right here. The product that promises smooth balls. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I will be able to let you know exactly how good their products are as soon as we're able to actually get them. You use them. Not yet. But, you know, when we when we get them, I'll let you know. Have I participated in any podcasts? Yeah, we've got a podcast every Monday. Every single Monday. I have literally never... <laughs> Josh has literally never read Twitch chat once. I, I do. I hate it. I hate the fact this is live streamed. Like, this is... If anything, I would just play the game on my own solo. The worst part of the, this whole experience is the fact that I've got to read... What you? What the frick is that? Come here. Give me your imp crotch. Allow me to punch it. That's the hero we are. Oh, I mean, oh, I thought this was like a, a real fort. It turns out it's just a, it's an abandoned fort. I wonder what's in here, if anything. I'll come back to you later. I want to go and punch Azora in the face first. Let me punch a god, then we'll get back to it. We're going to punch a god... Then we're going to come back and explore, see what's... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. There's treasure. There might be treasure. Gold nugget. Oh, do you remember the cereal, Golden Nuggets? That was a good cereal. I liked that cereal. Um, I don't think we can drop all the way down without dying, so I'm just going to drop down little bits and then pop this. It really isn't. Whoa. Whoa. Did you just say that Golden Nuggets aren't a good cereal? Agree. <laughs> Lineage? I've not... Oh. Oh, thank God, you're arguing about lineage too. I thought someone was arguing about cereal for a second there. Things were about to get really heated in here. You get to see the adventures of Twitch chat. Yes, you do. And we are actually, we're about halfway to Azura Shrine. I'm not using Quick Chat. So Weetabix isn't your go-to cereal. Who are my favourite content creators? Uh, I'd say my favourite content creator is probably me. I think I make some really good points. I think I make some great videos. I think I ramble a bit too much, and I repeat points, and I definitely don't spell check or uh, generally grammar check scripts, so I do end up making one point like seven times, and you know I'll be watching my own videos there thinking like, you've made this point three or four times, mate, stop making it. You know, you, all you're doing is you're saying the same thing with different words, but you're not actually adding anything of value to your argument, you're just padding out time, which you don't need to do, because the videos have only got to be eight minutes to be monetized. You know, you don't need to hit the 13 minute mark. That's just silly. But yeah, that's, I think, me. Uh, my second favorite content creator. Uh, probably me again. Uh, but with the other channel. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. That's the, the other channel. Sounds like the, yeah, Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison specifically chosen for Cusco. That, that poison? Yeah, that poison. That's the one. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, um, content creators that I turn on on the daily. So I'll always watch the Telerian Community College for information about Magic the Gathering. I love Saber Spark for all of his reviews on strange animes. Obviously, we are all legally obliged to watch the Spiffing Brit. Everyone in England has to. It's just, uh, oh my God, that's a bloody big Oblivion gate. Okay, maybe that's where we're going. Spiffing Brits, uh, what else have I had on recently that I turned on? Veritasium, anything from um, people like John Green. I also like, everyone likes, um, oh, what's the, I forgot the dude's name now. My phone's downstairs, otherwise I'd just get out the, get out my subscription list and go through. I'm subscribed to loads. Science YouTube is, is huge to me. I love Science YouTube a lot. Tom Scott. 
That was the guy I was thinking of. Tom Scott with his uh, fantastic, fantastic videos. I've been watching the chain fountain argument between uh, two of YouTube's best kind of science things going on. That's been really interesting. There, Steve Mould and uh, Smarter Every Day, stuff like that. Uh, Sid Alphas, yeah. I like it. So you've got a couple of YouTubers in the MMORPG space. You've got the Lazy Peon, you've got Kira TV, Asmongold, obviously, um, Callum. Then you've got Sid Alpha. You've got Big Fry TV. There's there's a lot of YouTubers. You are loud. Bloody hell. That is a, a loud, loud sound effect. But it was loud to me as well, so it wasn't just you. We can suffer together. Let's just quick save that right there. Young Year, yeah, I'll see you next time. Hey, I like Young Year. Young Year was great. Spiff was wonderful. Were you a fan of Total Biscuit? I think all of us, all of us were fans of Total Biscuit. Oh, there's actually quite a few of these things now, so, um, right. Let's just hang back. We're going to be more tactical. We're going to be, oh, I love the sky effect when you get near an Oblivion Gate. This sky effect is badass. Absolutely badass. Look at that. That is cool as hell. You know what Oblivion won't be ready for? They won't be ready for us running up and punching them. Let's go and punch Oblivion in the face, the Oblivion face. First of all, though, I want to try and get the attention of, like, one of these enemies, but not both of them. Oh, that was a fail. Okay, hang on. The only reason I'm using fireballs is because I need to weaken them before I get into an actual punching match, because, yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to win in a slugging match between these guys. So we're going kind of unarmed mage, all right? We're going like battle mage, but full-on battle punching style. And once one's dead, not that's fine. Okay, once one's dead, we can uh, we can keep running around. Yeah, can't you see your health? You are? Oh, good point. I'll move it away so you can see my health because my health is low. That's why I'm running around spamming heal right now for this. I'll move it out of the way so you guys can see my health because. That's... What? What? Was that like a... Was that a bandit that this clan fear thing just killed? What is that? Bandit bow... Sweet! Thanks, clan fear. That was great. You just stopped a bandit from attacking me. It did shoot you in the arse with an arrow, though. Uh, I'll take the gold from you. I'm not sure why you've got gold, but okay. I'll take that. Oh, put yourself on the top part of the screen, then upside down. It could work. It's just crazy enough to work, isn't it? Hang on. Right. We need to move my webcam so you can see the health just there. Maybe move this down a little bit so you can see. There we go. That's good. Okay, where do I go? That's the question. Where do I go? I've got an idea. Now, don't say no right away. All right, don't, don't say no immediately. There we go. Okay, let's play like this. Now you guys can see everything. I'm here, you're here, you can see health, you can see mana, we've got it. Middle of the screen, don't fall, I won't. Can you imagine someone for the first time joining the stream like this? This is what's happening. Hang on, let me just punch Oblivion in the face. All right, now we've uh, we've sorted that out. Let's go to the uh, Azura Shrine over here. Drosh, am I going to try Elyon? They keep trying to get me to try Elyon. They keep offering me money and they keep sending me emails and they're like, Drosh, please play Elyon. I'm like, no, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm playing crap mobile games and Oblivion. Um, they're like, hey, Josh, do you want to play the the newest MMORPG from I don't know Korea or wherever it's from? And I'm like, no. I want to play an RPG from, like, 2004 or something. I'd rather play a 20-year-old RPG game. That's what I'd rather do. Ah, uh, I'm literally that person, and this is quite alarming. Yeah. Yeah, well that, hey. Unfortunately, they do keep trying to, uh, to get me. They sent you money. Well, no, they offer me money. That's how the sponsorships work. They offer you money to play the game. And then if they don't offer you enough money, you say, no, offer me more. And when they finally finally offer you enough money, you say yes, and then you play the game. Isn't Elyon maybe the same thing that made PUBG? No idea. Are there any good MMOs from 2001? Uh, 2001. Warcraft came out in 2004, so you're looking at games that came out before Warcraft, so RuneScape. RuneScape came out in 2001, and that's a pretty good MMORPG. 
Yes. EverQuest, do I still play Warframe? No, I've quit forever. I'm not playing it right now, therefore I'm not playing it ever again. Do I have any feelings? No. Oh, regarding specifics. Okay, hang on. The upcoming Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it again. I mean, I've only finished Skyrim about seven or eight times in seven or eight versions, so looking forward to seeing what Todd Howard can give me this time. An EverQuest review. I played EverQuest on a time-locked progression server for quite some time, actually. I had a really good time. I really enjoyed it. I thought the time lock progression element was fantastic. Right. Okay, let's just quick save because I have a feeling we might be punching some people in the face. All right. Hey, guys. That is Shrine of Azura. Nothing happens. Good stuff. Uh, hey. Hey. I need a Daedric artifact. I'm trying to concentrate if you don't mind. I gave her a chance. In my defense, I gave her a chance. I tried talking. That's all I wanted. You do not have a Daedric artifact on you. That's a sh You might do. You are actually a little bit tougher than that person was. But still, no match. For my fist of fury, because unfortunately your crotch is at perfect punching height. Oh, that is the worst height for a crotch to be at in front of me. Uh, what have you got? Gold. Uh, you are still here, so let's just... I didn't want to kill... Look, I don't want to punch everyone to death, but unfortunately it is a very effective way of playing the game. I've never played Oblivion. This is my, my first experience of it. From what I can tell, Oblivion is just a simulator about punching people. Oh, let, did you just say, let's get down to business? Mate, unless we are defeating the Huns, you don't get to say that. Ip Man fight. Yes. It is. My heavier... Oh. Let's just keep punching. Oh, Mel's Marion is unconscious. This probably means you're an important character. Right. Okay, so that you're unconscious. Hey, this is the shrine. What's on the book? Let's just see what was going There's nothing there. That's pointless. Anything. Hey, Azura. You gonna... Nothing happens. Hmm. Hey. Let's just put all that punching behind us and let bygones be bygones. You have entered a holy place. What is your business here? I just wanted to punch people, to be honest. These are dark. Minds are poisoned by rumors and superstition. Unless you can persuade me of your good intentions, I cannot speak further on this matter. I mean, is all... I, I could persuade you. I could admire. I'll bribe you. Bribe. Bribe. Start. All right. Let's. Hey. Oh, you look angry. No. Maybe. Yes. Super happy. He wants to be admired. Let's just, yeah, let's try and coerce you a little bit. Is that so? Yeah. Uh, we want to use that next, and then a massive amount of boast. Because yeah, there we go. Hey, the dude is like admiring. He's good. If we do boast, interesting, and then admire. Please, I'm embarrassed, but thank you. And then we'll joke. We'll be like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, we can just go oh. back. Wow. Wow. He, um, okay, right, let's just, um... I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'll be here. Well, uh... Mate, I, I need to talk to you. You're like... You have I need the to domestic. talk to you. You can't speak to me further. Say what you're going I to literally say. need to convince you of some stuff, so... What do you not want me to do? You do want me to admire you. Um, I could probably coerce you, That's just talk. and then I could admire, Remarkable. and and then that, really, now. and then You're I, such a then I could leave. I don't want to do any more. That's the thing. So we're on thirty nine, but if I use that, it goes down to nine. I don't think I know how to do this. Try joke when it's small. All right, we'll start again. So we need to joke when it's small. So we need to 
Probably like coerce. Is that so? Oh, you didn't like that. Then Get joke. Off. Then we'll boast. Remind and then admire. I'm See? Excellent. He likes me. These tell me. You, oh, you can't tell me anymore. Right. Okay. How do we do this? Use big ones when he's happy and small ones when he's angry. Yeah. Are video games a waste of time? Yeah. Definitely. Without a doubt. You have right, mate. We need... Okay, look. I, I need to convince you of stuff. Let's start this. So, yeah, we can boast. Then we can admire. Then we coerce. Then we joke. I should be ashamed. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. Let's, um... We could probably coerce, boast, and then... Oh, we'd have to joke then, wouldn't we? One, two, three. We could... Coerce. Boast. Joke when it's small, and then do the big one. Oh, this is... This is annoying to get right. Come on. Let's just joke there. Alright, we're up to 57. We're up to 57. And then we... Done. Ah, now he'll talk to me. Now he will talk to me more. I wish to summon Azura. If you wish to speak to the lady, visit her shrine at dawn or dusk. Leave her an offering of glow dust, and perhaps she will deign to speak with you. Hmm. All right, glow dust. Right, where are we? Uh, where are we getting the glow dust from? Get some glow, glowy dust. Right, okay, glowy, glowy, glow dust. If I were glow dust, where would I be? Where the balls is glow dust. Nothing happens, nothing happens. Someone's going to have to wiki this, kill stuff nearby. Uh, I, I could kill him. Kill stuff nearby, we can find that. You've got to find a wisp. Kill the glowy wisps right next to you. There are no, there are, there's no, oh, there they are. It's fine, don't worry. Hey. No, come back. Let me punch you. Where have you... There you... Your willpower has been damaged. Wow. Drained... Mo this game is stupid. Right, what I am going to do is stick the webcam on the correct thing. Hang on, transform. Let's just flip this back. Clockwise. We'll, we'll put this, like, here above the, the thing so you guys can see the, the health and stuff. You'll be able to see the health. But also, so when it's clipped in the future, it's not complete insanity. That's the best way to do it. All right, so, right, we need some, some glow dust before we even start. You know what? I can probably do this without even talking to them now. That's what I can do. That's what I... Yes. Hang on. Come here, wisp. Let me punch you in the face. Stupid wisp. Oh, hang on. Am I on fire? Oh, it does this... It's got this kind of draining attack that drains you constantly. And you've got to kill it before... Ah, come back. Glow dust. Gotcha. All right, we've got the glow dust. We're good. Duck and weave, guys. Give them the old one-two. And go back and uh, pop some glow dust over here, shall we? Nothing happens. That's fine. Uh, we will... We'll wait for a bit. Uh, it's 11.40, so we want to wait till, like... Uh, yeah, wait for a while. Wait for dawn to dusk. See what we can do. And then we'll wait for a bit. I mean, dawn's probably, like, 5... 5.40, 6.40-ish. Do you wish to offer glow dust? Yes, I do. All right. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire dragon and its kin, but all were inflicted by the foul creature. Five vampires. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on them. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, 
The Peace of Death. All right, what can't these fists solve? Nothing. Right, Azora will unseal the mine, make this my active quest. Where's the mine? The mine's there. Ah, oh, okay. it's next to the Oblivion Gate. Hey, goddess spoke to me. Didn't speak to you, <laughs> nerd. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and punch some stuff to death in the name of Azura. Normally, I would just be punching it for me. No, no. Now we're punching for a god. Hello, wolf. What? 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 That wolf just parkoured over me. Yeah, respect. Game recognises game. That was pretty impressive, wolf. The fact that you just full on, full on crouching tiger, hidden dragon. He had the high ground and everything. He really did. That was impressive. That was very impressive. Will there be a full leveling series on Shroud of the Avatar? I mean, not while I've got any kind of agency over the, the channel, no. You used to punch gods, now you're punching for a god. I have changed, haven't I? Wow. Success has changed me. I used to be punching the gods in the face, standing up for the little guy, and now I'm working with the god to punch the little guy. It, it was the success, it was the fame, it was the money. It just, it, it's different. It's changed me. It has. I can't lie. It's made me a different person. Punch them all in the face. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to punch all of them. Everyone gets a punch. You get a punch. You get a punch. Stream changed. I know. It did. I am sorry. Unfortunately. I was, I was lying to you the entire time. I was only pretending to care about any of this. I don't even like MMORPGs. I just saw that it was a demographic that was untapped and thought, hey, that's a good idea. Before I was a streamer, I looked like that. That's that's what I looked like. That's actually... This isn't a game. This is a photo of me when I was younger. I Weirdly, I looked older. I've got a very good plastic surgeon. Okay, so we're in the gutted mine. What was that? Oh, it was a trap. Whoa, okay, that's a trap as well. Oh, god damn. Afflicted bre Holy balls, you guys are really tough. Let's just hang on. Just don't follow me. As long as you don't... F oh, for fuck's sake. Right, let's just... Hang on a tick. Right. I can probably fight one of you at a time. Oh my god, you are really tough. And I cannot... You have contracted polymorphic haemophilia. Right, interesting. You are now a journeyman of restoration. Well, I mean, that's good, but I've also got uh, a blood disease, which is bad. Uh, vampirism. Apparently, oh, is that not good? Is it not good that I'm now a vampire? Let's just see what would happen if we keep punching you. Right, now we're going to... Oh, I've been silenced. That's a problem. Hang on, I've been silenced, which means I now need to just drink a load of apples, bread, just eat everything. That did not help. Oh, I'm now no longer... Right, let's just... If you go to sleep, you wake up a vampire. Well, let's never sleep then. Actually, hang on, do vampires have any hand-to-hand -hand bonuses? Because that might be a bonus. That might help. Come on. If I can hit you and not be knocked back constantly, because you are knocking me back a lot. But there's a lot of knockback going on here. Maybe I should get a shield. Maybe I should be using a shield. There's yes! Yes! Sit down. Alright, what we got? What we got? Vampire dust. Uh, okay. Alright, F5 to quick save. We have quick save. This is fine. I've witnessed some take it as a gift. Uh, vampire weakness in Elder Scrolls far outweigh the benefits. The game is the New World prequel. It is. It is. They're constantly on fire in the sun. Right, so we lose health in the sun. That's not good. Uh, how do we cure vampirism? There's got to be a way to cure it. Like, th th it's not just going to be a be a thing that we have forever. Oh, right. There's got to be a way to cure vampirism. Potion of cure disease before it just kill the Just punch the sun. 
Just punch the sun. That's what we need to do. I don't get why... Blade of Woe. You cannot change weapons while attacking. Okay, I'm in the middle of casting a spell. Alright, well, you know what? We're just going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it as and when we get to it. It's fine. I don't know what you were. I'm sure there was another vampire in here somewhere. We've killed one of you. There's only like... You know what? I'm going to do this seriously. And this is just for, for this fight. I'm going to turn the difficulty down very slightly because we got wrecked in that fight. And I am running out of health potions. And I'll turn it back up as soon as we get more stuff. But right now... We've, I, I want to make it balanced because... Look, this is not... Holy heck, this is not balanced at all. Well, run, 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 run. I don't know where I'm running to. We're just running into the cave. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. And I'm running into the cave, which is not a good idea. There are some coffins. This is That's the end of the cave. Hide. Uh, right, hang on. What if we run this way? What if we put our... Our coffins together. That's like putting your Minecraft bed next to each other. Hey, do the vampires take damage when they're in the sun? Like, would they take damage as well if I were to uh, to lure them out with me? Oh, goodness me, let's find out. That could have been rough. It could have gone badly. It could have gone very bad, but it didn't. It's fine. Let's just uh, pop out here. Hey, you guys want to take some damage? Yeah. Uh, that did not help. You do not seem to be taking much damage. Yeah, let's get used to blocking. Here we go. It's like Rocky. Oh, oh there's so many of you. I did not realise there were this many. Oh my god, one of you is a wizard. Wait, you know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Don't you worry. Do I own any hoodies? No. I, I do. I just don't wear them. Right. Here, here's a plan. Might not be a very good plan, but it's a plan. W they will. Right, will vampires fight Daedra? Let's find out. May This might work. Yes, it actually does. That's amazing. Okay, this actually worked. Because I know for a fact I can kill the clan fears. I can't believe that worked. Luring the vampires to oblivion. Actually, oh, that, that's why I'm not winning. I wasn't punching them in the crotch. You've got to be aiming at the crotch more. More of a crotchal region aim. There we go. Beautiful. Got it. The enemy of my enemy is my shield. A worn, faded note, some vampire dust, iron greaves, heavy armor, sweet, a shield, that's good. A war, was that a war axe? Like a Daedric war axe? I'm sure I saw it have like a red, red glow to it. Anything in the clan fear? Nah, you're done. What about you? Ooh, okay, grey robe, more vampire dust, just in case. And this was the vampire. Oh no, you're like a burnt body or something. Right, what was... I'm wearing the blades, greaves, gauntlets. I'm wearing full heavy armour. Let's put the helmet back on. Where was my shield? My singular shield. Stick you on. Let's just... Hang on, where do we get the shield out? Why is there an arrow in my ass? Just one arrow. I want to... Uh, is my shield... Equi it's equipped. Why is it not equipped? Why... Why is my shield not showing up on my body. I can't believe the blades had a helmet that fit that head. It was impressive. It was very, very impressive. Why? Like, I'm... You're on. The steel shield is on. I can see it on in the inventory. Do I need to press a button? What is wrong with your character? Don't... No. Don't tell him he's wrong. So we press F. That gets the fists up. I really actually don't know why the shield isn't... Maybe you need to put a weapon on as well. Oh, you do. You... Oh, what? You can't just have a shield in Oblivion. You want to equip that? What? That is dumb. You can't just have a shield. You need to have a weapon. That's silly. I did not realise that. 
What is his face? Would you all stop? Just look. All right? Look. Sometimes people look different. Sometimes people look like they were standing between two cartoon-style log traps in a jungle and they swung together and they hit the head and it did that kind of cartoon animated effect but then it stayed in that effect. And these people have very difficult lives and difficult school experiences and I would appreciate if you were a little more kind because you don't know his life, you don't know his story, you don't know what he's been through and right now, I think you're being a little bit insensitive. I just... It's hard to look like you lost a fight with a steamroller. Oh! This clan... F oh, hang on, hang on. I'm, re I'm almost dead. Right, I did not re realise that uh, I was this low on health. Hang on. Let's just run away from the clan fear for a second. I... I think I might need to get myself some better restoration spells, because these spells are not very good. Oh, not out of ten would smash. Hey, he's, he's got a good personality. Alright? Oh, there's two of you. He's got a great personality. But, you know, he's, he's Twitch chat, so of course he has. Okay, you are nearly dead. Excellent! Heavy armor skill increased. Fantastic. Right, let's go this way. The horse is wondering why its rider has a longer face. He does need to have a personality. I mean, that that is the face of you've got a great personality. That's what it is. Okay, I think we've killed all of the vampires now. Like, I don't think there are any more. But we can double check. There might be. There might be one more. Let's find out. Let's just have a quick save. Because, you know, I've apparently committed to being a vampire now. It's kind of annoying how there's no light down here. A torch would be useful. Hang on, actually, we could. That's one weapon I wouldn't mind using. A torch. We don't have one. Why don't I have one? I'm sure, I had a torch somewhere. Apparently not. Right. When we find a, a torch, we're taking it and we're owning it and we're using it. Can you search? You can search the coffins. That's pretty cool. Oh, we can mine some silver as well. Oh, we new world now. It's back here. There! I knew there was one of you with a cool axe-like thing. God damn! The damage you are doing is redonkulous. That is a lot of damage with a very big axe. Stop it, please. That's a lot of damage with the big axe, alright? Can we just... Uh, can we just admit that's a lot of damage? I mean, I can, I can hit you. Oh, god damn. What is the red that you've hit me with? I'm trying to work out what that is. Big boy axe and it's red. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Let's just set you on fire, maybe. See if I can uh, do a little bit of flame. A little bit of fire damage. I don't do much destruction damage, but sometimes you've just got to... Oh, sometimes you've just got to, you know, burn people alive. Every now and again. Where's my axe? My axe is on the end of my fists. Uh, a fist is just a very blunt axe. Come on. Let's just risk, let's risk it for the biscuit. Yes. Ooh, dwarven cuirass. Dwarven greaves. Very nice. Where's your sexy axe? Battle axe of sapping. All right, hang on. We might have found something here. Drain Magicka. 30 points for 10 seconds. Sweet. What was the armor, though? So the Blade's Cuirass. Armor 2, 2, 2. Dwarven Cuirass. Armor 8. Um, yes, please. Dwarven Greaves. Yes, please, as well. Do we have a uh, Dwarven... I have killed all the vampires. Fantastic. Oh, we don't have any Dwarven um, gauntlets. I would have so used them. I look a little bit sexy now. An axe is just a very thin hammer. It is. It is. True words have never been spoken. Allow me to, first of all, quick save the game, because I am committing to this run of apparently being a dwarven vampire. Remember, a sideways power attack can disarm. Yes, but a, a 
forward regular attack is quicker and allows me to go clicky 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 with the mouse which is super important for me all right i'm gonna uh just see if i can loot this place you know, a kind of uh laced leather pants hey whatever floats your boat what we got down here just checking out this whole place of the map to make sure we don't miss anything big might be some treasure down here you never know yeah my headbutt is a slashing attack that's what it is uh, any any sexy looking treasure down here what's in what's in here can we go in this middle bit that looks like there should be something in there oh right in the bollocks now oh, that was a good uh, a good trap there i didn't see that ooh this looks uh, silver vein thank you coffin gold no oh, more coffins let's keep looting don't need bones right now I'll ignore the traps. Can you imagine setting your own trap up and just forgetting about it and hitting yourself? If I pull that rope, what happens? Oh, secret door. Secret door. Here we go. Let's pop down here. I bet this place is safe. Oh, there's probably some kind of trap down here, isn't there? This place looks like it would be trapped. Gold and a lockpick. Yes, please. Like if I was going to set a trap up, I'd set it up down here somewhere. Ooh. I've taken quite a bit of silver. I'm not sure if it's useful for anything. But I've got it just in case. I don't think there's anything down here, though. I've, I'm sure I've ran this way before. Ooh. Push loose planks several times. Unlock. Oh. Hello there. Let's just uh, pick you what we're going to get gold thanks thanks gold go oh, gold from a cough that was terrible if you're going to give me some kind of super secret hidden coffin at least give me a super secret hidden weapon within it that would have been great to have it was useful why are my channel points called straws what's the law i used to play old school runescape a lot and while playing Old School RuneScape, I started levelling my farming skill. And one of the least efficient ways to level your farming skill was by growing strawberries. And because I was enjoying my rebellious streak, I decided to attempt to train farming using the least efficient method by growing strawberries. So every single viewer, every single day, would have to watch me do a complete strawberry run before I did anything else. And people were like, Josh, why on earth are you doing this? You're wasting time. It's pointless. It's stupid. Strawberries aren't even worth that much money. I must have had 200,000 strawberries in the bank before I decided to stop doing that. So people were like, hey, you should make the uh, you, you should make the whole thing like a strawberry-based thing. So I did. That was the law. The law of the strawbs. And now it makes no sense. So... I'm glad that I've uh, been able to fill in that gap. A gap in your knowledge. Strawberry cheesecake is delicious. You're not wrong. All right, let's go let Azura know that we've punched some vampires to death. Because I think she'd be super happy with that. Azura is going to be stoked. Have I quit RuneScape? If I'm not playing it right now, I've quit forever. What I'll do is I'll start RuneScape again soon. Then I'll quit again. Never managed to catch the stream. but a big fan of your videos. Only the finest second monitor content. Get out. Like, you, you say it as a joke. What you don't realise is it hurts. It hurts. I mean, I'm personally offended when I discover that people aren't playing my videos on their main TV in their living room. I'm offended when people aren't getting their entire family around to watch every premiere. Every single one. I expect your friends, your family, your neighbours, your pets in the living room, on the floor silent when a video premieres you don't have a tv buy one only use it to watch my videos how do i feel about third monitors i've said this before if you've got a third monitor you're above me because i'm only running two you've got a third monitor you've got a battle station you've got a third monitor you can do whatever the hell you want now you are you're beyond that your videos are pretty family friendly they are okay azora i've punched everyone to death Thank you, mortal. Their spirits are free. Henceforth, above my shrine, fine bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. 
All right. For your service, take this token, and your deeds might be entered in the book of fate. Best thing to watch your videos in the toilet. Good. Good. I expect them to be. You're on my phone screen. Good. As I should be. Azura thanked me. She's rewarded me with Azura's star. Isn't that like a ridiculously powerful Daedric artifact? I'm sure that Azura's star, yeah, is a it's a soul gem that you can reuse, isn't it? It's worth 2,500 gold. In Morrowind, Azura's star was a reusable soul gem. And what have we got to take it to now? We've got to... Oh, God, we've got to pull it back. Okay. Yeah, it's reusable soul gem. Sweet. Is it a reusable soul gem in Oblivion as well? It was the only one that could hold Vivek and Almalexia's soul. Yeah, I remember that. Hopefully can. Gee, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Remarkably kind of you. In fact, thank you everyone who has subbed or followed for the last five minutes. I'm sorry that I've not been able to call names out as much as I usually do. There's just a lot going on in the game. I've had to punch a lot of crotches. A lot of people have asked me about strawberries. It's been an overwhelming few minutes. Why aren't I quick travelling? I mean, I think the answer is pretty self-explanatory. We get to explore Oblivion the way Todd Howard meant it to be explored. Quick travel's for cowards. I've already explained that. Is the Josh Strive Say channel fan-made or official? Uh, weirdly both. So it started off as being fan-made. Um, and the dude that was making it contacted me and was like, Hey, just so you know, I've been clipping all of your Twitch stuff. And I'm like, oh, you've actually done a, a pretty good job on that. That's, uh, that's pretty good. And then he was like, yeah, but I mean... I'm going to be real, I didn't expect it to get to this level of popularity, I don't I don't know what to do with it, it's got like 10,000 subs now, uh, do you want the channel? Uh, the dude just straight up said to me, because if you haven't followed Josh Strife Says, it was originally called Shrinking Text, and then uh, the dude contacted me and he's like, hey, um, this, is, this has gone way beyond where I thought it would get to, and I, I feel kind of bad for using your content again without your permission, so do you want the channel? And I thought, no, not really. You're doing a fine job. Just just keep going. Instead of uh, changing it, what we'll do is we'll we'll make it official. We'll we'll change the name from Shrinking Text to Josh Drive Says, so it keeps the whole kind of uh, uh, franchise going with the, the things. We'll we'll get a new a new banner for it. You can be in charge of that. We can sort that out. And, yeah, you just keep doing it. Keep clipping it, keep running it. We'll, we'll work all the way from there. And the guy was super positive, super pleasant, super nice to deal with. Um, yeah, and we turned the, the fan clip channel into the official clip channel. I'm going to be honest, it just saves me a job. Because, I mean, I wasn't going to do it anyway. Um, minute long clips please my monkey brain. They please everyone's monkey brain. It's YouTube loves retention time, especially percentage retention time. And when you put a 30 second video out, the the retention time is really high. It's like 100%. So yeah, he's cool with it. Guy's sweet to work with. Uh, he keeps going. He's putting out content like no one's business. All I've got to do, and this is the, the difficulty for me, I've just got to make sure that I just keep chatting shit for like six months. You know, just give him more than enough more than enough stuff to work with more than enough content that's why when people ask me questions about random things i'm thinking oh where can we go with this you know well what can i say that's gonna be clip worthy and then i'd end up just saying complete bollocks for like two hours people end up asking me like hey jo go away wolf people end up asking me you know hey josh what do you think about weetabix and we end up with a, a two-minute rant about why there is an objectively correct way to eat Weetabix. People ask me about other stuff. But what is my favourite sandwich? Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. I mean, people go, oh, Josh, is a hot dog a sandwich? No. A hot dog is a very thick taco. We know that. The best sandwich is either the day after Christmas sourdough bread lightly toasted bacon sausage cranberries stuffing more bacon real butter it's gorgeous everything from your christmas dinner thrown into a sandwich or 
if you come home and you know you're a little bit hungover and it's been a good night just a crisp sandwich pack it why am i the only i swear to god i tell people about the the joys of the crisp sandwich and they look at me like i'm insane like crisp sandwiches are great bread layer of butter packet of crisps pour it on bread crush eat it's lovely you want to improve it you want to take your crisp sandwich game to the next level slice a ham i'm not even lying okay genuinely a couple of slices of honey roasted ham on your crisp sandwich amazing am i vegan irl and during rp no no i will i will eat the meat i will happily have a face full of meat stop it i don't say things for them to be taken out of context i'm here stream it we're having a good time we're all we're all friends i don't expect you i don't expect you and your filthy minds to take one thing that i say in another another direction it's not what i want you this does not spark joy all right that goes to josh strife says i mean oh i hope so i'm setting him up he best be knocking them down you'll always be able to tell when it's something that i've genuinely not meant to say because i'll start laughing at it like when i realize that <laughs> like when there's a genuine moment when i'm sat there thinking i should not have said that you'll be able to tell there'll be there'll be a thing there'll be a second and you'll look and you'll be like ah gotcha went to the gym when the stream started Ooh. oh oh god it's been a late one did you miss anything special you're not allowed to get high in england you're not you're not not without your high license not without the high license the license now england has uh, a bit of an obsession with licenses we do we love us a good license whether it's a tv license uh, a bread license a knife license a gun license an eating license a license to have a license is that why you look baked yeah you want to know something i've never done drugs i just haven't it's just been a thing I mean, I went to a performing arts university. That's, I mean, there were there were drugs everywhere. I mean, there are at any university. But uh, I just never did any. I, I never wanted to. I know people are going to go, oh, lame. I, I genuinely just never wanted to. Um, do you have a permit for that license? You do need to get a license for the license. I mean, yeah, like caffeine. You've done caffeine. Everyone's done caffeine that's that's fine like an older boy told me to do caffeine so that was okay oh what's that fire over there that's a, a cool looking burning flame thing i'll have to pop over and check that out at some point but i think we're going up this way for now no i just never did i just never i genuinely never did i was never bothered about other people doing it what do i think about blizzard oh god will i be playing diablo 4 no uh, will the scandals make from playing? Yes. There's a, there's a very specific reason why I've stopped mentioning World of Warcraft in any video that I make. I've actively chosen to not engage with it anymore. And the reason for it is, one, for a long time World of Warcraft was homogenizing the genre. For a long time, you've had to say, hey, I play online adventure games like World of Warcraft. It was... It was the game that other people used as an example of online games. That's what it was. And I, I've i been trying very hard recently to avoid it on purpose. Because I don't want the MMORPG genre to just be World of Warcraft and others. I want it to be its own thing and have a lot of different franchises and games going on and being successful. I want it to be Final Fantasy XIV and the Elder Scrolls Online, and Guild Wars 2, and, you know, other stuff like that. I want it to be varied. And right now, I think that using World of Warcraft not only homogenizes the choices that players can make, but it brings attention to a game that I just don't think right now is that good. I just think, I, I don't think it is. It's... World of Warcraft is good... In the same way that Game of Thrones is good. It was good. It was. 
there was a period of time where it was good. But it's not now. The period of time when it was fun to get into Game of Thrones was years ago. Season 1 is still good. Season 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to an extent. Still very high quality pieces of entertainment. But people often forget that a piece of entertainment is also a, a social thing. Like, remember when Game of Thrones was in season 3 or 4 and everyone cared? Like, merchandise was everywhere, fans were everywhere, you could see people wearing the t-shirts and the bags and the, the accessories and you could talk about it and people knew about it and the book readers were acting all superior and smug. Remember how connected we all felt when that happened? Remember when Pokemon Go came out and it all happened? Everyone was connected. The, the summer that Pokemon Go came out, the world felt alright for a bit. It did. It was like, this is okay. This is pretty cool. And then, it kind of, it's still good, but it faded. The social moment for it faded. That's what it was. The social moment faded. World of Warcraft was great back when it had that social moment, and now it's faded. It's like, well, yeah, World of Warcraft is fidget spinners, but on a, a much bigger scale. It was fine for a bit. Then it got a little bit uh, strange, and then everyone started sticking the genitals in the middle of it, and that kind of killed it. So in a way, yes, World of Warcraft is very similar to Fidget Spinners. Very rarely added things to WoW nowadays. It was. It's. Uh, I think the, the, the time to get into it... I don't feel confident as a games reviewer or as an MMORPG fan recommending World of Warcraft to someone now. I just don't. WoW beat EverQuest because your grandma's computer. Yeah, World of Warcraft was so good because it was so easy to run. It was designed to be casual. And now it's, it's designed to be corporate. Okay, let's go let this dude know that we've got a, uh, a Daedric artifact. Hey Martin, how's it going dude? Morning, got you a Daedric artifact. I've got you an artifact. I won't ask what you went through to obtain this, my friend. I punched some vampires in the face. All too well, the depravity of the princes of oblivion. Are you ready to give me the artifact? Yep. Yeah, here you go. Ah, as you are a star. We've got it. As beautiful as all the tales tell. You didn't know your stream was this big. I know. You didn't know your stream was this big, apparently. I don't know why either. I just, you know, talk bollocks for like two... Sean Bean doesn't like you, apparently. I think it's because I killed him, like, twice. I don't think he's forgiven me for that. Seven, good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. What else can we do to help Sean? You should talk to Joffrey. All right, sweet. Joffrey, what's going on, my man? Joffrey? You're not Joffrey. You're Baragon. Where is Joffrey? Hang on. Let's just... F that's... Look at me. Look at me. God, that's a handsome man right there. That is a good-looking guy. Uh, the reason most games are uh, not that fun anymore, a lot of people, isn't the competitive part. If a game is competitive, you pick and choose other players, the social elements fade into the background. It's whatever you want it to be. A game is fun if you find fun in it. And a lot of people say, oh, it's fun when you play with your friends. In that case, you're not finding fun in the game, you're finding fun with your friends. If uh, I got sold to the stream by the Weetabix, yes, you're here for the quality content. Namaste. I'm going to be honest, you saw the top tier. Like, if you've watched the Weetabix video, and it's all downhill from there. I can't say something funny every single stream. I just can't. Most of my streams are just me sat in silence, staring at the game, playing, or crying, gently sobbing. That's what sometimes happens. What about the banana story? Oh my god, the best story. Oh, the best story. Lol says, never had Weetabix. Get out. Yeah, it's fun kicking cans. Yeah, perfect. It's fun kicking cans down the road with friends. It's fun doing anything with friends. You know, 
it's not very fun getting pepper sprayed. You get pepper sprayed with a bunch of your mates, you can probably find some joy in it, or at least create a good memory. So when people go, uh, actually, that game that you think is crap, it's really fun with friends. I'm like, yeah. You're not defending the game there. You're saying, hey, that experience that you had, it's okay if you have a different experience. Yeah. I I know. Hey, that game that you played? Yeah. The one that you played by yourself? Yeah. It's different when you play it with other people. Okay. It's better. Alright, cool. So it's not very good on its own. No, not really. So it's kind of bad solo. Yeah. So it's kind of bad for, you know, like, the majority of the MMORPG player base who all play solo. Should I grow a man bun? Uh, you've only got to answer one question for that. Are you Aquaman? If so, consider. If not, don't consider. Are you... Are you Joff... Joff, no, you're Royland. Where the ball, Joffrey? I've just received word from the Countess of Bruma that an oblivion gate has opened outside the city. Joffrey, it seems that the mythic I will sort it out, mate. They've seen how... Let's do this. Where's the gate? Captain Bird is waiting for you. Bruma, not a problem. Off I pop. Captain Bird, Captain Bird? Captain Bird. Wow. Maybe want to consider changing your name to more manly there. Time for banana. No, it's not time for the banana story. It's too early. Now, remember that right now we do seem, to some reason, to have... Uh, what was the problem we had going on? Uh, vampirism? Let's just scroll down to wherever that might be. Yeah, days as a vampire, zero. Next bit and zero. We aren't a vampire yet. I should probably sleep, though, shouldn't I? Let's, uh, let's have a nap. Is there a, a bed that I can sleep? You know what? No, I'll be all right. I'll be okay for a bit. We'll, uh, we'll get to Bruma. Where's Bruma? Well, we, there we go, straight down the hill. Play it on our own. There we go. Dude, don't do vampire, you'll regret it. I'm, I'm doing a punching only run. I'm regretting a lot of choices right now. Uh, there's, uh, th this is not the stream for, for good choices. I'm playing uh, an entirely fist only run of Oblivion in 2021. It's, I don't make the best content choices. Uh, I bet the character you're playing has done drugs. I mean, he is drugs. Look at him. That's what it is. His head is basically a needle. The dude is... Yeah, the, the dude is definitely drugged up. That is very true. He is... He's had... He's definitely had a few too many shots of skooma. That's the problem. That is the problem. Need to poison your fists for better effect. Yes. Yes, I do. Right, let's go and sort out this uh, Oblivion Gate. I started a fork-only Skyrim run. Do it. Good. Live your best life. Enjoy y yourself. That's what you need to do. When a parent had that child, you need to reroll. Yeah, like people say, my headbutts do slashing damage. That is... Speak. speak. State your business, citizen. I, I don't have any. You, you told me to speak. If you've got to travel. I mean, you, you told me to speak, mate. I, I have nothing to say to you. You were like, hey, speak. All right, where's... Okay, we just, let's just... We'll head around the side. We'll head around the edge. I don't like going through cities too much because I don't think people like me. Spartans wouldn't have kept this child. No, they wouldn't have done. And then the child would have grown up, become a warrior, and betrayed them to the Persians. I've seen that documentary. I know how that works. But no, this, this child is definitely... Uh, he's... He's, he's something. He is special. He has a hard time breathing. He has a very hard time breathing. Have I ever played Knights of the Old Republic? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, by the way, one of my... You know how I'm playing RPGs on Twitch? One of the games that I want to go through and play is Knights of the Old Republic. The, um, the original one. They are doing a remaster. They are doing a remake. That's what they're doing. They're doing a full remaster of Knights of the Old Republic, and I will go and do it together. Thanks for coming. Since we had the hero of Kavach available, I didn't think it made sense to try this on our own the first time. Yep, yeah, sure, bird. We're ready when you are. Just, Just say the word. Let's go. All right. Just give me a minute. Just give him a minute. Uh... Nobody likes the idea of going 
This is good. This is a speech. But it's our job, and we're going to do it. If we don't, Ruma ends up a smoking pile of rubble like what happened at Kazan. Hey. How's it going? You know, you guys do your speech. I'm going to go and punch some Oblivion stuff in the face. That's fine. I feel like your speech is going to take a lot longer than it would take me to just go and do this. Full remaster with... Oh, God. If there are microtransactions in the remaster, we are not doing it. If there are... Yeah, you, you guys can just stay back there. I've got something. I'll do this. Don't you worry. Hang on. Let's just get some punching going... Right. You guys are going to have to stay out of the way of my fists, because I'm just going to be fisting everything indiscreetly. So, you guys are going to have to make sure you don't get in the way. Otherwise, you know, you're going to catch these hands. And Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. How the, the claws just came out of the floor. That was... I, I like that effect. That's a quote. How do you do? How do, how, that was the most British battle cry. He just hacked an imp apart. It's like... How do you do? A lovely morning, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Oblivion. Yes. For some reason, it's been taken over by the spirit of Prince Philip. Yes, we're going to travel into Oblivion. We're going to punch an imp in the face. And we're going to close the Oblivion Tower. And jolly good time all round. That's what it's going to be. Let me just slap this dinosaur around a little bit. And then we'll do David Attenborough. We'll get, uh, we'll get the Attenborough involved as he comes back here. The red sky overshadows the terrifying plain of oblivion as Twitch chat stalks quietly through, followed by three guards. Their objective, infiltrate the oblivion tower and destroy the gate, currently threatening Bruma. Blocking a fireball with his hands, he proceeds to unload his fists onto an imp, proving that punching an imp is a viable way of taking down a Daedric god. Jumping past the defensive towers into more clan fears, the battle continues. That's what we're doing. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> How does a British person do a British accent so well? All of us are, we are all David Attenborough on this blessed day. Oblivion referring not to the location but the nearby fist of the player. <laughs> the name of the location is the Plain of Oblivion. What happens in front of this player's fists is the act of oblivion. There we go. Oh yes. Fantastic. Majestic. Can you narrate? I can't do Steve Irwin very well. No, Steve Irwin is a... What the bollocks? I just got killed by a plant. Unfortunately, the male wasn't paying attention, and the plant decided to whip him. Oh, he's got to... he's got to talk to me. To get... to introduce me to the dudes. I'm, I'm, I'm on my own. It's fine. How is the level system treating you? I haven't leveled up much, so it's fine. What I've done is I've, I've worked it out. Instead of leveling me up... I'm just slowly leveling the game down. So every time we get slightly higher in level, I'm just reducing the difficulty a little bit, which seems to be balancing out really well. It's it's I'm I've managed to manually balance the difficulty of the game better than the game has balanced the difficulty of the game, uh, which I think is, has been much more effective in general. It's like I've got to run away now and keep healing. And then I'll be able to turn around and punch that thing. Yeah, every time I level up, I've just turned the game down slightly in difficulty. And it works. It just works. It just works. Let's F5. I'm going to F5 much more often than we have been doing. Aren't you partnered? I think you can increase the video bitrate from 6,000 to 8,000 and ensure sharper quality. It probably would do. Um, yeah. I've probably got to change a couple of things. I think I'm already uploading at the top range for what partners can, but if I can get a higher bitrate upload, I definitely will do. Because I want everyone obviously to have the uh, the best viewing experience. 
Yeah, you do get a slightly higher bit rate if you are a partner. Not by a long shot, but you do get a little bit of improvement. Because Twitch has got to treat its partners well, because... I mean, where else are you going to find replays of a, a classic broken RPG from, like, 2005? Or when did uh, Oblivion come out? 2008, maybe? Because wasn't it, like, four years until Skyrim or something? And Skyrim came out on 11, 11, 11. 2006, yeah. Where are you going to get... What stream is going to give you the classic 2006 experience, if not this one? That's what... I think I know what the viewers want. And it's they want to watch me punch goblins in the face while we go through a 15-year-old a RPG. 15 years old, this game is. That's mental. That's like... in. In a couple of years' time, this game would be going to college. This game would be going to university. In certain parts of England, this game could be learning to drive. That is wow. Skyrim is as old as Morrowind was on Skyrim's release. Don't... Whoa! Oh, come on. Oh, so that actually does just hit you randomly. That thing you've got to learn to dodge. Dip, duck, dive and dodge. Hang on. Punching more of these guys to death. I don't... Oh, good. My heavy armor skill increased by being hit. Just punch the... Uh, just punch the towel. That'll work. Were you... Uh, where was you when Jagex removed the water fountain in Varrock Square? I... I was home. And I got phone call. The water fountain is dead. No. That's what happened. Auto mod not like that. People still traumatised from Fallout 76. Yeah. They're like, hey, let's make a game that is entirely online and doesn't have any NPCs, but will have players. And I'm like, congratulations, you've, you've invented the MMORPG. And they're like, yeah, but we're going to have very limited players and we're not going to advertise it as an MMORPG. Like, genius. Genius, Bethesda. You've created a game that appeals to a very specific demographic of players and you've not advertised it to the demographic of players. And then they've gone, hey, let, let's put PvP in the... The executives who make the decision to put PvP in an MMORPG as one of the main concepts are often not the people who have any idea how PvP players are. You are easier to kill than the frickin' dinosaur. Daedra Heart, fantastic, thank you. Can you do a worst MMO style video on Winter Tote? I can at some point. I'm sure will at some point. My goodness, Cat, thank you very, very much for the donation. That is incredibly kind of you. I'm glad you are enjoying the stream. I hope you're enjoying the YouTube content. There'll be more videos out on Monday. Uh, the next Monday video, by the way, over on the Josh Drive Plays channel will be... Was it good Amnesia? Because people told me they wanted me to replay Amnesia. So I went back and I, I say replay. I never played it. Like, it was a, a first play for me. Give me your face. So I, I finished and played Amnesia. Actually quite scary. Uh, oh, hang on. Damage, Daedra, weak. What's that? Was that a Daedra mace? No. Sweet. We've got a Draymora mace. All right. I I'm on board with that. That's pretty cool. I'll take a Draymora mace. It's not very really good, though. I mean, do we need it? Do we need it? Isn't it weird? Because in both... Morrowind and Skyrim, the Daedric weapons are really cool. Like, really cool. But here, they're like, just... You get them quite quickly. You get them quite fast. It's, uh, it's a very strange... His head is thinner than the mace. It is. His head is as thin as this battle axe. Look at that. If you slashed them and then headbutted them, they'd think they'd been hit with the axe twice. That's what would happen. I'm not sure if we go with... I mean, the Axe is lovely. Those aren't... Oh, they're Draymora, not Daedric. 
Well, you know what? We'll throw away the Dream War and Mace because we don't need it. And then we'll... Oh, I actually... I wasn't going to use the axe to fight. But... Uh... The axe is crap. Hang on. Let's just put the axe away. Get back to punching. Yeah, there we go. See, axe did nothing. One punch just knocked the dude down. Just properly rag it, yes. Daedra Heart. Oh! A Draymore Akative Shield. Interesting. What's this all about then? Shall we have a look? Alright, armor is eight. Heavy armor. Sweet. In fact, Draymore plus Blade of Woe. That's that's kind of cool. We could go with shield and tiny dagger. The only problem is that you can't you can't use a shield at the same time as as fists. Which I think is dumb. I think you should be able to use your fists with a shield. That should happen. Right, where are we going right now? This is the map. We need to get to there. Oh, no we don't. We need to close the oblivion. Oh, bollocks. Ah, we do need to close the oblivion gate. But apparently... Activating the conversation with the dude at the start is actually a required part of the entire quest chain. So back we... He's... You know what? Right now, the captain is standing outside waiting for me to come back. He watched me run into the Oblivion Gate. He watched me slap all of these things. He watched that and he's just standing there going, He'll be back. He'll be back anytime soon. Morning, everyone. Having a great hive day. Good morning to you. Hopefully you are having a lovely day as well. What you guys been up to today? Kratos could use fists. Yes, if Kratos can beat things up. I am basically very thin-faced Kratos. I watched you run into the gate and thought, I'll wait for the next hero of Kvatch. Yeah. We'll, we'll wait for the next hero to get here. It's fine. We're in no major rush. I want you all to see how I just blocked that fireball with my face. That's uh, advanced level blocking tactics right there. Every now and again, just block a fireball with your face. Is this the origin story of how the fist was invented? It is. Up until now, everyone only ever fought with weapons. My man, MC Punchy, that's his, uh, his class name, by the way. MC Punchy decided that uh, the best thing to do would be just a punch. Parted the fireball. It did. Your face is so thin it flew past. He blocked a fireball with his face. Would not recommend. He didn't do it properly. He absorbed the fireball. We need to block the fireball. Big difference. Okay, let's uh, pop back out the Oblivion Gate. Let the dudes know that we need to be going back in. Were you drunk when you made the face? No, amazingly not. I was fully sober and aware of my actions and thought this would be a good idea. I do live most of my days with regrets. Uh, mostly because of the things I do and the actions I take. Uh, yeah, there's this stuff. My goodness, Mad Jam, thank you very, very much for gifting the subs out. That is incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Right, hey, dude, how's it going? Thanks, yeah, I'm, I'm, mate, I'm already gone. Let's do this. Right, I'm not going to wait for you. You guys can do your speech. I'm going to go back and punch things. But no, Mad, thank you very, very much for the gift subs. That's remarkably kind of you, man. Hopefully you are having a lovely day and you're enjoying, enjoying the stream. It's the proper way to create a character. It is. It is. This is the pro... This is actually the pro streamer stat. Stats? Strats. That dude just like, so far so good. Uh, conveniently, everything's dead. Yeah, it's, it's convenient that, isn't it? It's almost like someone came here before with some fists of fury. Me writing a tabletop RPG book, listening to stuff out of context. As a former dungeon master, any insights on mistakes I can make while writing your cool core rulebook? Yes. Uh, what you need to absolutely make sure you do as, uh, as a rule book is you need to write down every single possibility. Every one. Don't... This is facetious, by the way. If you're writing a book for an RPG, the most important thing you can do is assume that everyone that's playing your RPG is an absolute idiot and will not be able to come up with anything imaginative themselves. Therefore, you must make sure you categorise everything. How many dice rolls do you need to climb every single rung of a ladder? How do you breathe? How do you walk? 
Does your character spontaneously combust when they try to stand up? Roll a d100, let's find out. You need to make Mortal Online the RPG. That's what it needs to be. But no, in, in honesty, the biggest mistake that I see new players or new creators of pretty much anything making is they try and codify everything. If you codify everything, you're not making an RPG. You're making a tabletop battle game. If every single eventuality has a rule for it, you aren't writing a storytelling system. You are now writing a battle game that one person could, in theory, play. It's okay to leave some stuff uncodified. It's totally okay to leave some stuff up to the dungeon master, or the player, or the group. Because the kind of people that want super, super in-depth rules are not going to be playing your game. They're going to play some ridiculous in-depth rule system from 1970 that, you know, one of them knew as a kid and played at high school because they have memories of it. That's what they're going to do. It's totally okay to not codify everything. Because you quite simply don't need to. Alright, let's keep smacking you around for a bit. Come here, you. There we go. Did you just punch out Darth Maul? Hey. That's just who I am as a person. It's just how I roll. It's just how we do things here. Right, we need to get to the top and press the big off button. That's how these towers work. Uh, for some reason, there is a big off button at the top. So, the rending halls... Yes. Into the rending halls we go. Hopefully we'll be able to find the big off button quite easily. I think it's quite nice how they've designed their, their Oblivion Tower to have a big off button. Look out. Oh, look out, guys. Oh, no. Oh, well, good job. Good job, everyone. Can you follow me around and narrate my day to day? Yeah. And of course, let's just turn on the magic essence. I'm not sure what that did, but I. Uh... Oh! Oh, you can replenish your own magic stuff from it, can you? Very nice. <gasps> yeah! Smack you around. I've got a lot of Daedra hearts. On the other hand, you should take advice from the man who created this character. No. Yeah, you, you shouldn't listen to anything that I advise. My advice is terrible. If I give advice, feel free to completely ignore it. We need to go even higher. We need to climb. Oh, that's a spike trap. Don't walk into that. Uh, that sort. There, there are also spike traps over there. Don't, uh, don't walk into those either. See, that's why you join this stream for advice on what not to do in Oblivion. And I think I'm quite good at uh, healthy supply of Daedra hearts. It is. It, they're very low. They're very high in fiber. They're very high in protein. They're very... Holy hell, that was incredibly lucky that I missed that. Jeez. I only missed... You guys are going to die because you're knocking that trap around. I only missed that claw trap because I was talking to you guys. Like, you, you legit just saved me. And now it's stuck on the guard. Okay, as long as it doesn't kind of ping off the guard into me, that's fine. That was genuinely dangerous that we were able to avoid. So thank you. That was not supposed to happen. And yet it did. And I'm going to take full responsibility for it happening. The punished. Now that'll be good. Uh, what's in here? Door to the fury spike again. Can we climb up? Hey, how's it going, dude? Oh, you ran past me. Okay. I want to fight some actual Daedra. Oh, Burden of Agnosticism. Interesting. It's a named weapon. Now nah, I'll be alright. Not using much named stuff right now. Come here, imp. We punch you in the face. The only mods I would consider downloading, and I've not downloaded any, any mods yet, I would only download something that made a hand-to-hand -hand build viable. That's all I would do. Like, if there was a mod that actually made hand-to-hand -hand damage scale off whatever gauntlets you were wearing, then I would do that. If there was that. But I don't think there is. 
I have been told, however, that there is there is a a weapon or a pair of gauntlets that increase your hand-to-hand -hand damage. I'm sure. Are you legit using only fist your entire playthrough? Yes. Yeah. From what I've been told, in the Imperial City, there's actually an unarmed way of boosting your... Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Boosting your damage. There are a couple of people fighting. And if you watch them fight, you get an unarmed boost. And then there's some... I think there's some gloves, some like Nightingale gloves, that allow you to do more damage and something. You used an axe like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, but like we're back to fists. You know, everyone gets a chance to use an axe for a bit and then you return to fists. That's just how it works. Everyone everyone gets one chance. Sigil Keeper. Oh, uh, there you are. Yeah, you did. Well done. Uh, oh, interesting shield. The Sigil Key. Let's pick up. Oh, no, one of our dudes is dead. That's a shame. I did not want to lose one of our dudes. Back to weapon rehab. Do you rather Josh or Joffrey? I'll call you Joffrey just in case. You can call me whatever you want. Uh, door to the sigil. Open with sigil key. Let's do this. This should hopefully be the, the turn off. Bird and I have reached the sigil stone chamber. Now to close the gate. Quick save. Where is... Oh! Hello you! But no, I, I do think there is a... In the Imperial City, there's a a way that you can gain gloves that let you punch stuff more. I'll say good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hopefully you are having a lovely day. You, I mean, oh, these stairs are impractical. If I had these in my house and I came home drunk, I would die. Just straight up die. All right, we've got to go up again, it seems. <coughs> Oh, hang on, enemy. Let's just uh, let's just give you an old boop on the snoot. Come here, violence, violence boop. That's what we. Oh, a Draymora light bow. Uh, I'm picking up way more Daedra hearts because I want to build something at some point. Dodge that fireball, like the ninja I am. But I'm, after this, I'm going to try and find where that. Uh, I'm going to try and find where the. The fist in... Just wait here. The fist improving weapon is... I'm sure it's in the Imperial City. Violence does not solve anything. No. Knowing is half the battle. The other half is violence. People forget this. People always go, knowledge is power. Yes, but so is punching. Let's just turn you off. It's kind of amazing that the Oblivion Towers have the off button. If I had an Oblivion Tower, I wouldn't put that there. Are you walking on stretched out skin? Yes. The Oblivion Towers are living torture chambers. I closed the gate with Captain Bird. I should ask him if he needs any help from me. I'm, uh... Hi there. Hi there. You are way too chirpy for what we've just gone through and everyone's died. It was an honor to serve with you, sir. Now that I've seen how it's done, I think my guardsmen and I can handle any new gates that open near Broma. Your guardsmen are all dead. Like... Like, you you did it. Only everyone that went with you died. <laughs> Congrats, Zap Brannigan. Everyone you took under your command is dead. Apart from you and me, but the gate's gone. Good job. Well done. Glass half... Yeah, he is Mr. Glass half full. He truly is. Well done to you. I need to have a nap because I need to level up. But I don't want to nap because as soon as I nap, I become a vampire. And that just seems like all sorts of not good. Right. What was the... Hang on. Let me have a look. There was a. There was definitely a way to do uh, an unarmed build. Yeah, there was the best unarmed build. I'm sure there was an item you could get. Here, hang on. Items. There was a thing you could do to get something. Here we go. Uh, head to the Imperial City, watch two characters box each other. You'll get plus five, and in the chest next to them are some gloves that increase your unarmed by 20. Excellent. Where are the characters? Inter where are they? 
Unarmed Gloves Oblivion. I'm going to find where these gloves are. I'm going to get them. Gauntlets of the Pugilists. Excellent. Uh, they increase damage with the hand to hand skill. Where are they? Gauntlets of the Pugilist. Um, appearances in Oblivion. Where do I find them? Oh, apparently there's no. It just doesn't say where they are. I, I need to know where these things are. If I can find where the heck these are. I will go and get them. I won't spam Mr. Josh, but there's a mod if you want to know. Hey, we'll get the mod at some point. If you have anything, drop me a message on um, Discord. It's the best way to contact me. Drop me a message on Discord, I guarantee. Bands of Quang Leo Arena and Helm of Ferocity sold at the Hammer and Tongs shop just outside the arena. All right. I guess we're doing that then. Right. Fastest way to get to the Imperial City. Just run straight south. Oh, they're going to be happy to see me since I killed everyone last time I went there. Okay. Which runescape have you been enjoying more? I play both, to be honest. I play both. All right, so we'll run south. We'll get the Gloves of the Pugilists. Bands of Quang Leo and Helm of Ferocity. So does the Helm of Ferocity increase hand-to-hand? -hand? Because I, I hope it fits my face. I really hope it fits my head. An expert's guide to unarmed in oblivion. Don't. Yeah, well, here's a noob's response. How about I do? Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. How about I do that? And then you can say, Josh, that was a bad idea. And I can say, you are correct. Do they charge you extra for helmet fitting? No, they just put the helmet down and then jump on it. They put the helmet down sideways and they smack it with a, a blacksmith's hammer a couple of times. And that, that just does the trick. It works. It just works. That's what it is. There are two NPCs boxing outside the arena. If you watch them for a bit, you get free hand-to-hand -hand experience. That's good. The thing is, like, my hand-to-hand my -hand level is... Hang on. Do you have any hand-to-hand? -hand? Where's... The... Yeah, 60. That needs to be higher. That needs to be way higher. I need that to be ridiculously high. Yeah, Todd Howard. It just works. That's why Oblivion is as good as it is. Wait, what was the reason behind murdering everyone over there? It's a long story. It started with Sean Bean stealing a horse and it ended with me punching everyone in the face. That's that's the story. So what happened was I was doing the main quest and I had to escort Sean Bean from... I like how we're also just walking down like a sheer cliff face. Just having a, a lovely little potter down this... I, I'm a mountain goat right now. Yeah, so what happened was I had to guide Sean Bean somewhere and I was running ahead and he I was quite far ahead so what Sean did in his infinite Shawnee wisdom was he stole an imperial horse and because Sean Bean stole an imperial horse he was now being attacked by imperial soldiers so I wanted to protect him and show him how loyal I was to him so I started attacking the imperial soldiers to protect Sean Bean of course Sean Bean can't die so then the Imperial soldier started attacking me, and then Sean Bean thought, ooh, the Imperial soldier's attacking Josh. I best attack Josh as well. So he started attacking me, so it ended up with me killing the Imperial soldiers, knocking Sean Bean out, running to the place where I had to actually finish the quest, and then finishing the quest and doing the conversation bits in between Sean waking up to consciousness, attacking me, and me having to knock him out again, despite the fact that my quest literally was protect Sean Bean. So I protected him in my own roundabout way. And then when I got into the city, the guards were mad that I'd punched a horse, and I decided to fix this problem by punching all of them so much they couldn't be mad anymore because they were dead. Apparently, this does not ingratiate you with the local law enforcement. So then they got mad at me, and I went to jail, and thankfully, in jail, I had a cellmate, and I was able to incite a riot. Uh, when I say incite a riot, I mean I punched my cellmate. And the guards opened the door, which of course opened the guards up to be punched as well. And then I escaped. And yeah, there was a lot of stop right there. Where in Discord is the best place to leave a mod suggestion? Just PM me. What? That... That wolf just jumped... That 
We've had a lot of parkour wolves today. I was... Hang on, there's a deer. Time to test out my magic aim. It's bad. Come here, dear. You are... You look like just enough experience. Boom! Thank you very much. Yeah, that, that wolf just properly leapt in front of me. Oh, dear. Hey! It's funny because it's a deer. Hang on. Hang on. My... My heavy armor skill increases when I get hit. Guys, we're about to do some serious training. You ready to grind? Here comes the grind. I am learning. This is how you play Oblivion. And then two punches. Gets our own experience back. Now we heal ourselves a bit. I know how to play Oblivion. Don't you tell me I don't know how to play Oblivion. Intense grinding right here. Oh, look. It's better swimming than New World. Which is funny, because it actually is. And then you zoom out and you angle the camera at just the right angle and you can kind of see under the water. I love how you can do that in old games. If you angle the camera at just above the water level, you get to see everything under the water. Shots fired. I mean, if they want to put swimming in New World, I'll happily, you know, do swimming. If they don't, I'll play Oblivion. New World has got a lot of things that Oblivion doesn't have, like microtransactions and players. Uh, Oblivion has got a lot of things that New World doesn't have, like a central plot and swimming animations and replayability. That's pretty much what Oblivion has, has got over New World. There's, it, it swings and roundabouts, really. You know, little a column A, little a column B. Imagine you learn something. Here's the dumb people. People always go, oh, it, it doesn't need to be in the game. Swimming doesn't need to be in the game. You were a sailor. You literally worked on a ship. And you're telling me that you can't swim. And now people will go, oh, actually, swimming wasn't that popular in, in, in those days. A lot of people couldn't swim. It's not realistic. You've landed on a Spanish conquistador-style island inhabited by supernatural entities. And the line in the sand that you've decided to draw for realism is that a sailor can't swim. Why is this where you decided to stop? Why did you go, oh, well, you know, yes, it would make total sense that they landed on a Spanish conquistador-style island with zombies, but swimming... I don't think that the players are going to suspend their disbelief for that. Who said you were a sailor? I mean, you're on a boat. You're a crew member on a boat. That's that, that's what it is. You are you are a crew member on a ship. How do we get into the bloody city? Oh god, it's all the way around here, isn't it? Fine. You have to walk all the way around, get to the thing. Maybe you were a cook. I'm pretty sure if you were a cook on a boat, you'd learn how to swim. New World was not made to be an RPG. No. New World is a survival MMO. That's what it is. It's a survival MMO. Just climb up. There's an entrance right there. Yeah, if I could climb up, I would do that. But look, you can't get up this way. Okay, shut up. All right, I don't want to hear it. Stop. We don't play this to have fun. All right, we're playing this for the story. So just just stop. Just stop it. Right, where's the shop? Where's the I'm not even looking at the Twitch chat and I can feel you typing. I know you're typing stuff, and I bet it's dumb. I bet it's, like, stupid stuff that you're typing. I bet that's what it is. It is. Yeah. Just one glance at Twitch chat, just awful. It is literally stupid stuff. See? Reezy is there. 
The suffering of the protagonist is fun. Yeah, I'm the one that has to suffer. Because I'm the one that's got to, got to be here. I have no clue. I have no clue where it is. Like, no idea. Might be around here. Might not. Let's find out. The arena. Oh, I've been to this place before. This is the bit with the arena. Yes, I know where we are. Where is the shop? So, yeah, the arena has the bit where there are people fighting. You have a level up ready. I don't want to level up because as soon as I level up, I become a vampire. And that is going to be a real problem. What's in here? Oh, no, that was the punch button, not the open door button. You can get a lot of gold. The arena. Oh, that is... I love it. That artwork right there... That is, I'm pretty sure, from the cover of Elder Scrolls Arena. Because it was uh, Daggerfall, Battlespire, Arena, which kind of happened. And then Morrowind, Oblivion. Oh, that is lovely. I would have that. So, where are these people fighting? I, I think you killed it. Well done. Are they fighting outside the arena? Start talk. Don't make me punch you, because I will do. Right. Where are these people fighting? Can we go in here? We cannot go in there. They've got to be somewhere. They're outside in the morning. Ah, oh, right, got you. We'll pop outside in the morning then. And then we've got to go to the, the place that sells them. We will find the place that sells them. So if, if they're here in the morning, let's just wait to the morning. It's like 10.30 p.m. So we'll wait like 11 hours to 9.38 p.m. That's a pretty good morning right there. And then... Wait, what? What the heck? Um, what the heck? Who are you? What is this? Gold? Why am I suddenly being attacked by... What was that? Hey, dude, I'm sorry, mate. I am sorry. That, that was my fault right there. No, you shouldn't have had to go through that for me. Let's just wait again for a bit, see what happens in the morning this time. Apparently they were possessed. They were. Right, we'll wait for the morning, and then we'll pop and see if we can find these guys fighting. They should hopefully be around here somewhere. Um... Yeah, I seem to remember they were on, like, one of these plinths or platforms. Is that them over there? Yeah, that's them. All right. So we... We watch this happen for a little bit. And I think that level... I mean, you're not even hitting him. This level's up. This battle is intense. Where do we then get the... This takes a while. I've got nowhere to be. Where do we then get the gloves from? Because we need some gloves, and then we need a helmet. The gloves and the helmet do this cool thing where they make our hand-to-hand -hand better. And I need to Google it in a second. There's a chest you can steal from nearby. Good. We'll grab that chest in a second. We'll keep staring at these guys. Should we, should we pretend to join in? Yeah. See? We're with them. With them in spirit. It's a locked chest nearby, apparently. Like, how long do you have to watch them before... Oh, by watching! You've picked up a few tips. Hand-to-hand -hand has increased. Fantastic. Alright, now apparently there's a... Just going to wait for you guys to stop noticing me. Just going to hang here. Quick save the game. Gonna hide out of the way. Yeah, we got it. We we nearly got the hide. Okay. Let's try this now then. But let's just first try. There we go. Oh, bands of Quang Lao fortify hand to hand on self. Yes, please. Manual of armor, arms, tactics, chromia, gold. Sweet. Oh, bollocks. Right. This is a problem. Uh, do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Plan. 
plan, plan, plan. Right. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I could drop the armor on the floor, go to jail, come back and pick it up. Or, better plan, I could run away. So, where is the shop that sells the helmet? Read the books. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, we've got the books, haven't we? We can read those. I don't think it helped. Uh, we, we, we've, well, we've, we've read the books. Song of Fromir. Oh, blade skill increased. Sweet. All right. Where's the helmet? I love how you can read the books while getting chased. Yeah, they've got uh, they've got class. The guards. They're not going to just interrupt a reading guy, are they? I mean, come on. Where is the shop? The thief casually stops the time to read combat manuals. He does. He does. You'd think if I could do that, I would use my power for good. But you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. Okay, so where are we going? Where is the shop? It sells. You said it was called something, didn't you? It was like a, a shopping district thing. That's the arboretum. This is the, sh the market district. It's probably in the market district. Let's run to the market district, see what we can find. It's probably over here somewhere. We'll pop over to the market district and see what we get. Uh, it's going to be that way, isn't it? That's a guard. Let's just run this way. I mean, there can't be that many of them. Oh, there's loads. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, here we go. We're going to pop the... Lost, lots of guards. That's fine. Don't... It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. Uh, no. Thank right, I need to... Hang on. Stop. I'm trying to find where the shop is. Hang on. I'm looking where it... What was the name of the shop that we had to go to? You said there was a shop we had to get the helmet from or something. Bounty was only five gold. That's fine, don't worry about it. What was the bounty? I mean, what was the bounty? I'm pretty sure it was more than five gold. Like, pretty sure the bounty was pretty high. Because I stole something. What was the, my bounty on me? Oh, I mean, it, the largest was five and a half thousand. Uh, oh, fuck. It was five. Okay, we, um... I mean, we probably should have paid that. That would have made uh, that would have made this a lot easier. Uh, in honor of Cradmi, the helmet and is in the Hammer and Tongs shop in Skingrad. Where is Skingrad? Skingrad sounds like a really long. Hang on, where on earth is Skingrad? That sounds like it's a long way away. That's Coral. Where's Bruma? There's something else. Skingrad? I've never even heard of where that is. That's Braville. Skingrad sounds like a place in oblivion. It does, doesn't it? It sounds like a place in oblivion. That's Leywin. We've not been to Skingrad before. The problem with this map is that you... Oh, there it is. Skingrad. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much like... Where are we now? I see. If I put a map marker just there, can you... Put, you, you can't put map markers. That's just dumb. Shift click. Yes. Beautiful. Blue marker. Okay, cool. Uh, right, let's go to Skingrad. Just going to pop off to Skingrad. Oh, good. You're here. Oh, fantastic. Everyone's after me now. Nobody wants me alive. We've got the guards, we've got the Draymora, we've got the citizens. I am not doing great. Like, blocked, nerd. I I don't think we're doing this good. Holy hell, that's a lot of you. Um, how do we get out of the city? There's got to be like a an exit thing somewhere. They They seem angry. They seem annoyed. But we need to get to Skingrad. That's the next big plan. Your Imperial... <laughs> your subscription to life has ended. You must now do the free version of death. They really want that five gold. They do. 
they really, really want me to pay that five gold bounty. I think we go this way. Thankfully, I can... The dude just shouted, pay the fine, at me. You know what? I was going to, but because you told me to, now I'm not going to. Alright? I don't like being told what to do, mate. You are the great unifier. Mankind and Dremora put their differences aside to fight me. Look! Yeah, they seem to be giving up quite easily. Your guards are terrible, Oblivion. You just sort this out. No, oh, let's jump. Right, I, I thought that I would do some kind of super sexy leap away from all the enemies and dodge all of the arrows in the air. That didn't happen. What happened was I just leapt into the air and got shot by all three arrows. So anyone watching would have just seen me running, jumping, and then every Imperial Archer just nailing the shot against me. Are you guys going to... Your jurisdiction does not exist outside of this bridge. So, I mean, you can keep following me if you want to, but your jurisdiction is going to end. And where your jurisdiction ends, my fists begin. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on the the thing that we got. Bands of Quang Lao. Okay, for some reason, my uh, when I'm attacking with my fists in these things, the punches are really straight. Which is not great, because I normally kind of do a big, uh, a big hook. Yes! Just... I disarmed him. That was amazing. Remember that you can disarm people by doing a sideways power attack. And uh, I do have a lot of sideways power attacks going on right now. I think maybe I should heal for a bit. Uh, why is he in front of me? That was just to assert dominance. The dude was just like, I'm going to race you. I'm going to race you to the end of this bridge. Okay, yeah, he's, uh... They're, they're... Hey, Alec, how's it going? <laughs> that dude, that dude had no idea what was up. He won the race, he did! He won the race. Right, uh... Skin grad, love... Right. When there's only one of you, mate. Not as bothered when there's one of you. Days and weeks of constant use make wearing heavy armor tolerable, but not comfortable. You've learned to adapt to its weight and use it in combat. As a journeyman of heavy armor, your plate mail is no longer damaged as swiftly from combat. Hang on. Well, that was good. That was pretty good, wasn't it? We've got... Uh... I don't want to do... I didn't want to do that. He actually just shouted man down. That was pretty cool. Right, what have you got? Legion, Legion, Legion. Gold? Thanks. I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to try and disarm you repeatedly. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Had a silver arrow from being shot in the back by the other guard. He did. He did. This guard is angry. Told the guard you would pay the fine. Hey, just turn around and be like, you know what, I'll pay the fine. Look, I just... I just wanted to save Sean Bean. Is it that difficult that I just want to save Sean Bean? That's all I want to do. Okay, he's actually getting quite a lot of damage on me right now. So I want to be uh, healing these bloody fists off. I think you can surrender by blocking. I think that's the coward's way out. To be fair, though, sit down, son. All right, Imperial Watch Key, gold... 
So these give 2 2, 7 2 2. What am I wearing right now? Way better than that, to be fair. Blades, boots give one armor. Do, you, do your boots do more? Legion boots do two. Sweet. Let's go with uh, the Legion boots. They're better than the stupid blades boots. And the dwarven, what else have we got? Legion helmet. The Legion, the blades helmet gives two defense. And the imperial helmet gives how much? Uh, oh, yeah, two defense to be fair. So I am over encumbered, so I'm going to throw away some stuff. Greaves aren't important because we're not using them anymore. The Dremora shield is for cowards. All right, onward with the adventure. We've killed two guys. Let's just uh, F5 it and carry on. Oh, the armor rating decreases with uh, durability. A human scream mask killed the man. I always get nervous killing guards in these games. I don't want uh, the towns to hate me. I'm... Look. This... Look. This dude... That's a good arrow shot. That's a very good arrow shot right there. Good, solid, solid dwarven armor. Look at that. That is how straight through the... Straight through the hip bone. Right, straight through the bottom of the spine. Right there. That's what he's got. That's what he's got. Look, this guy has been treated like a demon his whole life. And I think it's... It's understandable, because he's got the kind of face that makes babies cry. And grown men cry. So unfortunately, when when he walks into town, he knows he's not going to get a warm welcome. He knows. How does he open his eyes? He doesn't need to. All right, he navigates entirely via echolation, via the screams of his enemies, and his friends, and just people around. If he walks somewhere and he hears lots of screaming and shouting and running around, he's like, yeah, this is probably a town. He 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 navigates entirely through feeling. He actually feels the wind on his, his cheek because it's basically a sail. He can't feel the wind on his face because it's so aerodynamic. It ends up pushing to either side. If roller skates had been invented, he'd be really fast. Because that's just how he's built. He's built different. Alright, we're off to Skingrad. Skingrad is going to get us the... Hopefully, the shop with the helmet that we need. Uh, my favourite second monitor streamer is on. How dare you? Like, I mean, how dare you try? Don't, don't pretend that I'm not on the main monitor. Any monitor that I'm on becomes main by default. That's how it is. That's actually how YouTube sets it up. When you set up your computer, when you've got you know two monitor outputs, when you're putting the two HDMI cables in, your computer doesn't say to you, hey, what's the main monitor? It says, hey, which monitor are you going to watch Josh Tropez on? That's what it says. And whichever one you choose, that becomes the main. Every other program, by default, goes on the second one. Oh, okay. Pushing me back, are we, Impy? Mr. Impyson? Alright. Oh, hang on. Can't you... Is there enchanting in the game? Can you enchant items such as... You know, look, these things, the weapons I'm using right now. There's the stuff. There we go. Fortify hand-to-hand, -hand, 20 points on self. Could I make fortify hand-to-hand -hand on... Other bits of armor. Could I make fortify hand to hand on the cuirass, on the legs, on the shoes? Could could that work? Hopefully it can. Okay, brilliant. That's what we're doing. We're going to make full on fortify hand to hand passive constant effect enchant. Because right now my hand to hand skill is up to eighty five. I want that higher. That needs to be higher. So much higher. I think Josh is my favourite left monitor streamer. I mean, to be fair, I consider myself a left monitor streamer as well. I edit on the left monitor. I play games on the left monitor. In fact, the only thing on my right monitor is Twitch chat. That's what it is. I think you need to know the spell yourself before you can enchant it first, though. Is there a hand-to-hand -hand spell to be created? Ah, right, gotcha. There might not be. Is it going to be a thing we have to do mods for? 
You need to absorb their soul into a soul stone, then use it on the item. Ah, probably should have kept the Azura Star soul stone then, shouldn't I? Probably should have kept that one. It's fine, don't worry about it. Skills don't go higher than 100 max. Okay, so once we've got hand-to-hand -to, -hand to 100, we're pretty much good. We're on your second monitor. I don't have a sec... I have monitor A and monitor 1. Uh, they're both equal in my eyes. In my eyes, both my armors are just as good. How could hand-to-hand -hand ever go higher than two because of two hands? That's a good question. The magic system in Oblivion is so... De Wasn't it Morrowind that let you make your own spells as well? I'm sure Morrowind was one because the, the enchanting system, I remember making, you know, super deep enchanted weapons in Morrowind. They were really cool. All right, we'll, uh, I'll do some grinding off stream. I'll get my enchanting up. We'll enchant some some items and some armor and some weapons to have constant fortify hand to hand. Can you, once you get past 100, is there any point carrying on? Like, do you get any more anything else for going past 100? I think you do. There's a DLC that makes enchanting and spellcrafting better. I'm pretty sure I've got the game of the year edition, so I should have all the DLC that I need. Morrowind's magic is literally cheat codes to the universe. What I loved about Morrowind's system was you could make a potion that increased your intelligence and then drink it and then make a potion that increased your intelligence, but of course you are smarter because of the first potion, so the second potion is better. And then you drink that, and then you make a potion that increases your intelligence, but it increases it by more because now you're even smarter. And you keep stacking, like daisy-chaining these increased intelligence potions until you are the smartest thing in existence and then you start to make the things that you need yeah it's like a, an endless loop of intelligence boosting stuff and then you just get more and more and more and more and more things going on and i thought it was great i thought it was brilliant i really enjoyed it All right oh that looks like an oblivion gate we'll go and sort you out in a minute um i just need this shop for this helmet if i can find this helmet i'll be happy was that a what? Stop parkouring over me, wolves. Swear to God, you are so good at parkour. Alright, so we've got you done and dead. Lock Why did the wolf have a lockpick? Was it a thief wolf? I like her. Do da cha cha. Who is that? Hey, how's it going? How's your day going? How's things? You good? Hey. Make it quick. Make it quick? What have you heard about rumors? Yes. Yes, I am. No, that is that is me. There you go. Now everyone will leave you alone forever because you're dead. All right. Done. Oh, a key. Fantastic. A key to your house. Look, she said leave me alone. Right? Look, she's going to be left alone. She's going to be left alone forever. She is. She was fast, though. Just quick save to make sure I can't go back on my poor choices. How's my group Iron Man team contribution? I'm looking forward to the day that Callum finishes all of the barrows from Iron Man, because then I'll have all the barrows armor. That'd be great. Do you think you'll ever try Ender Orb? Probably. At some point. I'll try everything out once. Right, where is this shop? I'm hoping that I'm not too wanted because of all the killing. Yeah, that might make my... Um, my... D Hang on. Hang on, there's... Uh I think they're unhappy. I'm just going to run this way. Can't catch me. They, if they can't catch me... Yes, I made it in a loop. Right, look. If they can't catch me, they can't tell me that they need me to arrest me. They can't do it. They, it's, it's against the law. It's like the Miranda rights. If they can't catch me, they can't tell me... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to... Right, hang on. We need to... I need to go shopping. I'll come back to you in a minute. We need to go... Where is this shop? I just want to find the shop. 
once I've found the shop, we can go somewhere else. Hammer and tongs. There we go. Hey, how's it going? Well, there you are. Not so loud. Hey, uh, can we? Can you sell some stuff? Well, have a look around. Yeah, yeah, sweet. That'd be great. Thank you. Helm of Ferocity. Fortify hand-to-hand. -hand, five points on self. Constant effect. Oh, you cost 10,000 coins. Oh, I mean, that's not... Um, that's not good. That's a lot of money. I don't have 10,000 coins. How many coins have I got? I've got 200. Okay, I need to... Um, yeah? You don't have enough gold. That's a shame. Thank you. You're welcome. Hang on. Let's just... Um, let me just... Where's the... No. Where... Oh, where's the Helm of Ferocity? Is it here somewhere? Is it in the room? Auto... It's just auto-pick through this. Yeah, you can't get in here because it's a locked door. Screw you, guard! Okay, you can. Um, is the helmet down here? Hang on a tick. If I was a helmet, where would I be? It just works. It just works. Look at it. What a Todd, you've done it again. Okay. I mean that can end there if you want to. I just need the helmet to be honest, guys. I'm uh, I'm kind of fine without it. How does a helm fit on the glorious Twitch chat head? Still better than New World. Yeah, where is this helmet? Like, where is it? Is it in here somewhere? Door to Skingrad. Reinforced door. Let's just pop in here. Can you actually find the helmet somewhere? Because if I can... If I can find the helmet somewhere else... Is that it? No. Oh, up here. Hang on. What's up here? Any of your stock up here? Show me. Where's your stock? That's a shovel. Nope. Anything in here? Let's just burn through some lockpicks, see what we've got. Aha! What's in here? Because you've got to, like, physically have the helmet somewhere. Take some gold. Let's just run around here. Is, is it somewhere? Is it actually genuinely somewhere? Because if it is genuinely somewhere, I'll keep looking to try and find it. Oh, but if not, I'm going to have to get like 10,000 gold, aren't I? It's in her shop chest under the floor. Do you mean something that I shouldn't be able to actually access as a player? Quick! Have a nap. Tactical nap. I think I need to run away. Alright, we've, uh, we've, we've taken quite a bit of damage. I think... Oh, 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 right, okay, that's, that's quite hurt me there. You can't access it normally, it's on her body, right? If I kill her, will she have the helmet on her? Just, just out of curiosity. No. That's a shame. That is a shame. Yes, no. Ugh. Time to put these gloves to the test. That does not work because I'm getting knocked back quite a lot. Let's jump over here. Oh, the yeah, you know what? I love Oblivion. The game is so underrated. Yeah, it's I'm having a good time so far. We're having a we're having a good time. Hero of Kvatch right here. Clo clo Hang on, I'm closing the gate. God, I'm a murderer. I'm not rude. There's a difference. Yes, you. Leave me alone. I can't talk right now. You literally just said, yes, you, we need to talk. And talk here. Do puppet. Meet me behind the great chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. What do you want? Hey, we need to talk. Can't talk now. Meet me at the chapel. Dude, what? Right, it's what time is it? Hang on, it's 6.44. All right, all I've got to do is avoid the guards for the next six hours. And then I'll meet you at the Great Chapel. Where's the Great Chapel? 
He wants NFTs. He does. He wants to me to. He wants me to consider investing in Earth Two tiles. That's, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. All right, the Great Chapel at midnight. Fine. All right, how do we get to the Great Chapel at midnight? This is like a three star wanted level. It is. Let's ramp it up to five star. Oh, there's a lot of guards. That's actually quite a lot of guards. Maybe we could. You aren't involved, but you know, give you a little love tap just so you feel. Oh, there's the Great Chapel. All right, this so this is the Great Chapel of Julianos. I can't rest right now. It's uh, it's a little bit silly, but it doesn't want to let me rest. I need to get out of the city. Okay, let's just. Uh, I need to heal a lot. Let me get out the city. Let me rest. Let me run back in and meet this dude. How many people? Are we? Uh, quite a few. Okay, we've got quite a lot of guards chasing us right now. Buying tiles on Cyrodiil too. Oh, here we go. Oh, good, we're out. I'm thinking this is this is not this is out. This isn't in further, is it? Oh, this is back in further. Oh, that that's out. Aha! Oh no, this might be a big drop. Ha! <laughs> what you gonna do? You take your job way too seriously. Okay, that dude, that dude really, really wants to be a guard. He. Just quick love tap over there. That dude was like properly focused on guarding the city. Nothing was going to get past him. I just want that helmet. How tough are you as a guard then? You know what? You're actually quite tough. Let's um, let's let's sort this out. My favourite let's player is live. Is is the spiffing Brit on? Oh, that body, yeah. Maybe he's now aware that we killed her. If I can disarm you, mate, I'll be happy. Come on. I need to disarm you. At least my heavy armor skill is increasing by a serious amount. That's true. Getting a serious amount of, uh, of heavy armor experience for this. All right. Uh, guard helmet. Now I'm good. Steel guardhouse key. It's always useful to have keys to places. Let's just have a quick nap. Yeah, let's just wait here for a couple of hours. I need to wait to midnight, don't I? So, like 11.56? Yeah, that's good. Okay, now let's quick save to make sure I've fully committed to this. Ooh, here we go. Is this Elder Scrolls Online? No, this is New World. Um, what was the quest again? I met a mysterious wood elf. He wouldn't tell me why. Map. Okay, let's make this my active quest. Let's go meet this mysterious wood elf, shall we? I want to know what he's got to say for me. What you got to say about me? Maybe the guards will have forgotten. Maybe... I mean, let, let's be honest. Would you forget this face? <laughs> like, if you ever want to be a spy in real life, it helps to look generic. You know, it helps to be the kind of person that you would walk through a crowd, and even if someone saw you... You know, five minutes later, that they'll forget you. You actually don't want to be a spy if you're really, really, really um, definitive looking. If you are extremely different. Whether, whether for better or worse, you don't want to be a spy if people will remember you. If you're eye-catching in any way. And I think one of the politest ways to describe this guy is eye-catching. He is. If he walked into a room, I would look. I wouldn't think less of him. But I would look. I think we all would. You know, I, I don't want to... I don't want to say that you should or shouldn't. But I think we would. That's what we would do. Mate, I'm mid-air. I jumped and you would like... Like, the, the dude can stop time. I jumped and he was like, what do we have here then? Mate, if you can stop time to talk to people, be more than a guard. I can't believe that. I jumped and he actually... He's, he's throwing fireballs at me. All right, dude. This one wants me dead. This is very impressive. That guard was a wizard. All right, where's the... Uh, the where's the other way? Okay. Guys, I've... 
Who are you? I even know who you are. Can you imagine how shocked this wood elf is going to be that we meet him behind the chapel? And he's like, are you alone? We're like, not really. No, we may have caused a bit of a ruckus. Um, people, people may be aware of our presence, but don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Bring in, bring in all the guards to... Hey, how's it going? Ah, you came. You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you. Gold. You like gold, don't you? Lots of gold. Here's my problem. What's that like? Maru caught his selective spell. Not sure. But a threat he has made to their plans. I know too much. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine what it's like to be followed. I, it must be scary. Very good. You won't be sorry. Let's start with Bernadette Penners. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh. Be outside your house at 6 a.m. Don't, uh, don't worry, mate. My specialty is not letting people see me. Absolutely fine. I'm good at this. And we go. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Who are you? Like, genuinely, who are you? I don't know who that person is. Like, I need to kill you, no matter what, who you are. I don't know who you are, either, so... Oh, I'm actually dying quite a bit. Who was this person that I killed? Were you important? Burgundy, key, gold, that's fine, we've got some stuff. NPC, yeah, he was peer pressured into attacking me from the guards. He didn't even want to fight me, he didn't know who I am. Let's just start... Uh... Let's just start slapping you around, son. Get some, uh, get some fireballs going on. Hey, my destruction skill has increased. Fantastic. Time to get some more punching going on. I'm going to die in a minute unless I kill him first. Fantastic. Okay, cool. You're dead. Uh, guardhouse key and some gold. Fantastic. Let's just quick save the game again. Right, I need to wait until 6 a.m. So, what time is it now? It's 1.27. So, yeah, 5.27. We'll wait for a bit here. We'll just hang out. There we go. Yeah, we'll hang out to 5.27. Then we'll just tight. Yeah, it's, it's 5.20. It's half five. We'll pop over. We'll sort this out. This is the character Ronnie Pickering. Oh, mate. The legend that is Ronnie Pickering. He wishes he was as tough as Twitch Chat, which is the name of this character, by the way. I'm not making that up. That's what we've decided to call the dude. Did we quit the gauntlets? We've got the gauntlets, mate. Once, look, bands of Quang Lao. Fortify hand-to-hand, -hand, 20 points on self. We are... I just got here and I'm terrified, sweet Jesus. Right, listen. Listen. If they didn't want me to finish Oblivion by punching everything, they should not have put punching in the game. This is what we're doing. And I'm quick saving. So you... I, I can't even stop it. I mean, you don't have to be impressed, mate. But I am going to... I am going to just keep punching you until... I'm going to burn past your shield. And then I'm going to punch you until you are dead. Look... I don't want to fight you in the city, because there's only so much space I've got in the city to run around. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find a way to kill me. And now I've got to heal myself. Oh, goodness, this is going to take some time. 
Oh, right. He looks like he needs surgery. Uh, stop being mean to Twitch chat. Oh, it's six o'clock. Bugger. I'm going to miss my date. Uh, hang on. That, that's where it is. Bern Bernadette's house. All right, cool. Okay, let's just be stealthy. Hang on. We can do this. It's six o'clock. We can do this. Just be stealthy, guys. If anyone asks, just your average, ordinary, everyday, axe head murderer. No one needs to know where we are. No one needs to be none the wiser. Right, let's just... What? Oh, hang on, that might be her. I think Bernadette... Yeah, Bernadette seems to be walking that way. Is that is that her? Yeah, Bernadette has gone into the Great Chapel. It's okay. I'm following it because of my my map. God forgives. There she is. Quick, hide. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Bernadette, is that you? Hey, no, uh, you. Oh, right. She went to the chapel. Uh, I may have failed that bit of the quest. Maybe, possibly. Bernadette is following him. See what she does. Meet him behind the chapel to get the report at midnight, was it? Yeah. So Bernadette goes to the church. This is fine. Um, hey, stop it. You're all bad people. Maybe I can just hide behind the church. I don't even know who you are, mate. I have no idea who you are, but I will happily fireball you to death. If needs be. I hope that my, uh, my contact doesn't see me doing this, because he might think that I'm not as stealthy as I promised that I was. Normally, I am a bastion of stealth. Normally, I am so stealthy. Like, I don't even know where I am half the time. That's how stealthy I am. No mods. Nope. Don't need them, mate. Don't need them. Apart from the, uh, the damage that I'm taking, we're doing fine. Yeah, apart from failing pretty hard, I'd say we're doing okay. A complete ghost. Silent as the night. I am. I am. Not even I am aware of where I am. Oh, the West Weald. We could get out through the gate. As long as we don't run into anyone or anything, we'll be okay. Can I stand on you? No, I can't. Okay, let's, uh, let's escape. Here we go. We're free. No one knows where we are. Oh, a, a, what is that? Apart from Tilmo. You know what, guys? Tough. Here we go. Here we go. We are free now. We are free. Right away into the sunset. And no one is none the wiser. Beautiful. This is oblivion. It just works. Cowboy arc. Yep. Hopefully we end better than Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid did. We found the cursed mine. Three punches. Oh my god, you're still here. You're like the freaking Terminator. That dude is still there. Oh my god. But he's not stopped. He, you, you don't have jurisdiction here. If I kill you, Dion. Oh, you know what? If I don't get knocked back by your stupid blocks, I can actually do a lot of damage to you, Dion. Why is everyone trying to kill you? Darth, it's a long story. It involves Sean Bean, a horse, um, a couple of imps, a lot of crotches, and occasionally a punch. All right, Dion's dead. Key, gold, done, save. Don't shoot me in the face. Bad choice for you. Yeah, Sean Bean was involved at some point. There was 
I think there was a horse. I remember there being a horse involved. Rip, captain of the guard. I didn't want to pay a five coin bounty. Yeah, I, I really wanted these gloves that make punching better. So I lockpicked the box that had them in. And then the guards came to arrest me. And my bounty would have been five gold. But in order to pay it, I'd also have to give up the gloves. And I don't want to do that. So I decided the best thing to do would be to punch every guard in the... Yes! That knocked you back a bit. Yeah, I decided the best choice is to punch all the guards. So what I've now done is... I may have punched myself into a bit of a corner, but as I've always said, if you punch yourself into a corner, y you can punch yourself out of a corner. That's how corners work. You, you keep punching until it's not a corner anymore. It's a, a, a concave. That's what you need to do. And then you keep punching, and then it's a wall. There are infinite guards, right? Apparently, yeah. Apparently there are. I didn't know this. I mean, my bounty was on, what, five coins the last time we checked? That may have gone up. I'm not sure if it has or not. What are we... Oh, it, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's gone up a little bit. You know, if it keeps going up, eventually I'll be able to afford the helmet that I came to this place to get. That looks like a problem. No. Every problem is a solution waiting to be found. Like, you might say, it's a problem that this bandit is attacking me. I would say, it's a solution that I can hit them. My intelligence has been damaged. Oh, that's a shame, because my intelligence was what I've been relying on for this entire playthrough. Yeah, you might think, oh, it's a shame everyone's trying to attack you. I'm thinking, nope. Right, we're friends, because we just punched that bandit together. Let's just... Right, allow me to show you a glitch. Quick save. Now quick load. And for some reason, all aggro drops off you. So when we find the guards again, they will simply say, hey, you, go to jail. That's what they'll say. Every major fight has replaced the fight with Twitch chat, Champion of the Fists. Yes. He, once I finish the game, I will make Twitch chat into an emote. This guy will become an emote forevermore. But hey, we've saved the game. Save it again one more time so you know what I'm doing. Uh, let's just go to... It's 9.18am. We want it to be 9.19, 10, 11... Yeah. Let's wait 14 hours. Get to midnight. And then we should be able to go and meet the dude. And be like, hey, the girl went to the church. And he'll be like, the church, how scandalous. That's what'll happen. Wait. Wait. Well now, what? Uh, go to jail. Hope you rot, criminal scum. It's okay. We threw the gloves away. However, I, I, I've only got forty minutes to get to the dude. Oh no. Lock picks left one. Auto attempt. No. Oh, bugger. <laughs> That's a shame. Hey, oh no. When I sleep, I'm going to become a vampire. Alright, this is not the playthrough I wanted it to be, but okay. Alright. Your athletic skill has decreased. Blade, block, hand to hand, decreased, 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 decreased. And I think... Oh, we, oh, apparently we don't level up. Apparently, sleeping in the thing doesn't count as leveling up. That's good to know. The Cursed Mine. That's where I left the uh, the things, wasn't it? 
Let's go to the courtyard. How late am I? What time is it? It's 11.40. Oh, it's fine. I can still make the mission. This is great. This is not a... I can still do it. This is brilliant. All right. Hi. He's like, it's you. You don't know who I am. Right, where are we going to... I'm guessing this isn't the rest of the castle. Is that the castle? No. I can still find this dude. I can do it. Is his character a vampire now? I don't know. Maybe? Right, how do I get down from here? Can I just jump down? Uh, apparently. Alright, cool. So we've made it down. Oh, where are my gloves? I threw my gloves away somewhere. I think I did it on the other side. I think... I think I threw my... Don't punch anything. Just... There, th is that... No, that's the other dude I killed. No, that's not you. Let's see if I can meet this dude. And then if I meet the dude... It's, oh, it's 12 o'clock. we got to run. We've got to go quite fast. And then I can be like, yeah, the woman was in the... That person just said go away to me. That other dude I killed... I've killed a lot of people. You can't... Expect me, realistically, Hello. to remember everyone I've killed. You can't. It'd be unfair of you. And it'd be difficult for me, and that's the worst bit. Okay, let's run behind here and see if we find the dude. He should still be here. Yeah, I can see him being there. And he'll ask me and he'll be like, hey. One thing Oblivion did that's quite cool is your quests are actually time-gated, so... When they say meet me here tomorrow, you have to actually be there tomorrow. So, you saw Bernadette Kennedy, did you? I, yeah, uh, she she wasn't watching or following you, mate. She went into the thing. Really? That is surprising. I was sure she was watching you. What about the reward? Ah, of course. Oh, 150 gold, sweet. What else do you want me to do? Sextius. <laughs> Sextius. <laughs> Oh, what a stupid name is Tootius. Alright, cool. He's a clever one. You should wait outside his house and see what he does. Yeah, sure, mate. Uh, where does he live? Large house on the gate. Cool, can do. He's much more dangerous than he looks. Oh, I'm sure, mate. So am I. But uh, I'm going to pick up my um, my gloves from outside. And if not, it's going to be uh, good old console commands that get them back. But I'm trying to not use those. I'm trying as hard as I can to do things legitimately. Oh, imagine your hero, your parents, calling you sexy or tootious. What a silly name is tootious. I am trying to go through as much as I possibly can without using console commands. One of my co-workers looks like one of the creepy Oblivion characters. I swear to God, I hope they don't look like this. Like... If your co-workers look like an Oblivion character and they look something like this, I'm sorry to tell you that your co-worker is a vampire. You might want to get that uh, get that look, looked at. You know, get that get that sorted out. Okay, where did I drop my where did I drop my gloves? Yes! Please tell me that worked. You absolute legend. I Cannot believe that that worked. Fantastic. Perfect. Back in business, boys. All right, when am I? What am I doing next? What's the next quest they want me to do? They want me to watch someone? Observe Tutius Sexitus. Okay. Uh, wait outside his house this morning. I mean, I see no reason to not just go and wait outside his house right now. The legend of Quang Lao continues. Just go through. I want to reach point B. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna do this properly. Right. Where is this dude's house? Tutius. There's his house. Straightforward and then left at the big turn. Straightforward and left. We're gonna do this. Ah, oh, Quang Lao was probably a red god. Quang Lao was a, a powerful, powerful magician who used the power of punching. He cast Fist. That's what he did. I'm going to uh, quick save often. Just so you all know that I'm not cheating. That's a... 
That's a bad place to, to sleep there. Foul Fagus. You, you have my sympathy, mate. I am sorry. You know what? No. No, let's let's be let's be Santa. What should we leave? Have, have some vampire dust. No! I didn't mean to punch you. I just oh fuck's sake! I didn't Stop! You violated the law. Since you lacked the funds to pay the court, you must now serve out your sentence. I didn't mean to punch him! I wanted to cover him in vampire dust because I thought it would be funny. Oh my god, fine, we'll go to jail. And now we'll sleep. And now my level will drop even more. And now we have to put everything we have back on. They've taken my gloves. I'm not happy with that. How do we get them back? How do we get them back? Genuinely. Like, where are they? F5. Quick saving. No. No, we've uh, we've quick saved now. I've done it on purpose. Only console, mate. Straight to the guard again. Right, we... We need to learn enchanting. Specifically so I can make better gloves. That needs to be my next thing. Or, I need to work out what the console... Go to jail, this should be in a chest. I mean, yeah, that'd be good if I had F9 to reload. Like, would they be in the chest? Jail should have a chest with all your loot. Right. Where... Would it be in, like, the dungeon or something? The dungeon... Barracks, barracks... The dungeon is... Where the hell is the dungeon? It's that way. It's in here? Up or down, maybe? Alright, you're in the dungeon. I thought it was a chest in the jail. Let's find out, then. Might be my knobby. Evidence. Oh, yeah! I know I shouldn't. And I won't. I won't. No. I've got a mission to do. I'm following someone. I've got to fo I'll come back and punch him later. I've got to follow... That's the door to the barracks. Let's not. I've got to follow someone. I've got to go and do this quest. No, we can't... We can't just punch everyone. We have to be selective in our punching. Otherwise, it means nothing. All right, let's see where we can get to from here. Where? How do we even get back to the main... How does this, where we are, connect to the main place? Do we need to go through here and then along the, the top? I think we do. Let's go this way. Ah, maybe it goes down there and then that way and then the other way. Oh, this is just like the jail. The jail is an entirely separate entity. That's hardcore. That is hardcore right there. Let's see what we can do this way. Every punch has its place. I'm just a habitual lawbreaker. No, I'm a, a very... Look, in real life, I'm very reserved and very British and very posh and very, you know, follow the law all the way. So in games, you've just got to let it out. And Oblivion just seems to be my punch simulator. It just... It makes me feel good to punch the NPCs in Oblivion. It just does. It is my way of releasing the punch. 
We're going to wait outside this dude's, uh, this dude's house. Where's this dude's house? Pretty much just like up there. You don't have time for me. Mate, you are lucky you didn't get a punch to the face right then. Uh, I would have done. I'd have done it and I, I, I would have done. Don't pretend like this is, this whole place is laid out worse than solitude. This place is just not well designed as far as like a, uh, an infrastructure place goes. Him? Not even there. Look at him. Your face makes me feel comfortable. Good. That should. That is the face of comfort right there. Alright, where's this dude's house? Straightforward. On the left soon. Can you imagine waking up and just seeing that this dude's head has just been outside your house the whole night? I think I'd just call the police. I'd just go back to sleep. I'd be like, you know what? It's not worth it. That's his house right there. Let's just wait for like three hours. Imagine it slicing, sliding through your letterbox sideways. Just slowly, slowly sliding in through a letterbox. We'll wait hour by hour. Punch his door down, obviously. That's a guard there. I like how the guards are totally fine with me just standing, staring at this dude's... Yes. This dude's house. He's still there. We're going to wait hour by hour. We're going to catch him eventually. Where is he? Is he still, he's still there? Tutius' house. We're still waiting. The dude hasn't moved yet. Hasn't moved. Oh. There he is. That man. Okay, quick. Guys, stealth mode activate. No one, no one knows. No one knows. He looks like a tootiest, doesn't he? Look at him. Look at that swagger. He wouldn't know I'm here. Be like water. I'm here to relieve you. Yeah, I laughed at it as well. Be like water, my friends. The aerodynamic head. The great thing is, if he turns and looks at me quickly, he won't see my face. He'll just see, like, a thin slither of flesh on top of some bodies. That's what he'll see. And if anything goes wrong, just give him the old one-two. Give him the old, the old tootious tap. That's what we do. Where's he going? Where is he? Where's where's he? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Cotton Eye Joe. He is not very good at being checked. That checking that he's not uh, not being followed. Because like I'm not being subtle. Like if he turns around and just saw this, we're like, hello. Tootiest Joe. Oh, he's going to the jail. I know this jail rather well, Tootius. Can we just point out the fire effects are actually quite nice in this game? Like, that's... I know it's not the greatest fire effect, but it is kind of... It's good for the time. You can tell that it isn't super, you know, high frame rate. Okay, just... Stealth. Stealth. No one saw me. Full on stealth. They're how they're all in perfect sync. Yep. All in perfect sync because they all run off the same internal timer. Here we go again. He's. There he is. He's gone over here now. Tutius has taken me on a bit of a. bit of a wild toot chase right now. Hey, what's, what's happening, Tutius? We're spying right now. The Altmer have powerful wizards. It could be a dangerous situation. Oh. Good day. Rest here. The fighters guild is recruiting again. I'll abandon some other 
They're just talking about random stuff. Valandrus. Who's that? Who's Valandrus they're popping in to see? Ooh. Ooh. Who's this? Who is this? We are so good at spying. Look at us being inconspicuous. Look at how good I am at being a spy. I am so good at spying. Stealth. I am stealth. They'll never see me. Yeah. Yeah, full on stealthed out right here. They'll never know. It's like I wasn't even here. Alright, so uh, I'm pretty sure I've followed you now. Now I should... Uh, yep, I have I would see Tutius and then midnight meet Glarthia at our usual spot. Alright, let's, let's go meet Glarthia then, shall we? Is Twitch chat's brain entirely vertical? It's very kind that you think Twitch chat has a brain. And for anyone who's joined and is offended by me saying that, this character's name is Twitch chat. All right, I'm not insulting you. I mean, I am in like a roundabout oblivion based character way, but yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly what's happened. Let's just F5 to quick save again. And then let's just quick try. Hey, my acrobatic skill increased by breaking my ankle. Good old oblivion. It just works. That face scares me. That face scare. <laughs> this face makes a lot of people feel a lot of emotions. All right, there's there's a lot that goes through people's mind when they see this face. Most of it is thoughts of their own mortality and wonders about whether they've lived a full and full and just life because clearly this is some kind of biblical abomination that's been sent at them. What's going on with his eyelids? Long Why is that the bit that you chose to fight? I mean, a lot is going on with a lot of face. The eyelids have given up on life. The eyes have started melting. Makes me feel dread. Nothing... <laughs> that's normal. That's just what people look like where this dude comes from. That dude, he's actually from Oblivion. He is the most human-looking Oblivion creature. That's why the game is called Oblivion. The whole point of Oblivion is you are playing a uh, an Oblivion creature doing their absolute best to fit in with the rest of society. That's what it is. He's from Britain. Yeah. It's an average-looking British guy, to be honest. Average-looking British guy. So, what I'm guessing is going to happen with this quest line is we're going to tell these dudes that none of these people are following him, and then we're going to turn out that actually all of them were. I bet that's going to be what happens. It's been like, hey, no one's following you. Psych, actually, everyone was following you. It's 12.37, so we'll wait 11 hours for 11.37 at night. That's what'll happen. Because no one's following this guy. No one's following it. Everyone's just chatting to other people. No one's worried about this dude in particular. I don't get why he is so worried about stuff. Hey man, how's it going? Tell me what you learned. He's uh, he's not watching you. Really? So you're saying that neither Bernadette Penniless. What about the reward? Yes. The gold that you value so highly. Never mind. We shall see. I do have one more name for you. What else? Do you know David Surly? Yes, of the famous Surly Vineyard. I do not. Pillar of the community. Perfect cover. Okay, ringleader of conspiracy. House early each morning. Watch him and repeat. Right. Where does he live? I still cannot. Okay, where does this dude live? Surly House is right next to Right next to mine. Of course it is. Oh, God, this dude is paranoid. All right. Mate, you are... You are just paranoid. Let's go to this brother's house. We'll watch him. Nothing will happen. Betrayal. No one's following him. No one's following you, dude. You need to just let it go. Let it go. 
You can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. If any of you in the Twitch chat right now, in your head, mentally add it, turn away and slam the door, just, just think about what you're doing with your life. Okay, Surreal Brothers home. Right, wait for six hours until, like, morning time for him. Let's find out what's going on. You did. Some of you did. I know you did. Okay, so, like, it's... It's morning. Let's see where this dude's going to. There he is. How's it going, man? You... Gaston. His name is Gaston. That's amazing. Hang on. Gaston wasn't the dude I was meant to follow, was it? It was David. It was David I was meant to be following. Why is Gaston there? Oh, hang on. David, I should observe for a day, report back to Glathir at midnight. Why does my map tell me to go this way? Has David... Has David left? Has David left? I think David's left. Guys, I think David's left. Because my map is telling me to go this way. Let's trust the map. The map knows. We'll see, see what's out here. It's a good thing the map knows what he's what? doing. Right, where's Dave? Now it's back in here, what? Where's David? Oh, hang on. David's that way. David's there. I see you, David. I'm coming for you. The vineyard. Ah, yes, you did run the vineyard, didn't you? There he is. There is. Okay, guys, be stealthy. Don't let David know we're here. All right, I think we're doing good. Well done. The, uh, the stealth worked. Meow. Yep, that is my cat wanting food. I will go and grab her food in a moment. I mean, I'm just going to wait for like an hour and see what happens. See if David does anything worth reporting. Kill him. I could punch him, couldn't I? He's still there. Why are you... Do He's still there. He's still there. Look, I'm going to wait again. These guys... Take all his grapes. These guys are doing nothing. It's 11. It's 12. He's walking. We'll switch it over to 1. He's gone. Where's he gone back to? He gone back to the town? Yeah, nothing's happening, dude. This guy's paranoid. We'll go and let him know that he is not being watched for any reason. We demand to see the cat. The cat, unfortunately, is a 16-year-old old girl. And she does not react to well to being picked up at all. She doesn't react well to being told what to do. And she will, if you are lucky, just about be, uh, be lured with food. But no, she uh, she does her own thing. She does her own thing, unfortunately. Uh, if we are extremely lucky, she may join us. Sometimes she, when you know, when I'm sleeping, she'll jump up onto the foot of the bed and fall asleep. But that's extremely rare. We're gonna uh, just save the game here, and we're just gonna just gonna hide. No, I I don't think anything's happening there. Let's just uh, let's just wait for a few more hours. See what's happening. Sounds like a normal sixteen-year-old. Yeah, pretty much. I wish that guard would face that way, because then I can just slowly but surely sneak in. Oh, now we've loaded up. Who can see? Oh, you can see me. What's that? Okay. Let's just sneak in here. F5 to quick save. Right, we're in this dude's house. Let's see if we can find any evidence that this guy is doing anything kind of like clandestine. Because I don't think he is. Let's just spam through the auto attempt to get the 
the door open. Look, we're going to go down here. You know what we're going to find? We're going to find nothing. Look, nothing. It's just a cellar. Nothing in the cupboard. Nothing over here. Nothing in here. Just wine, grapes, wine, food. This dude has done nothing wrong. I feel almost bad for breaking into his house now. Schoon guard, schoon guard. Maybe he's upstairs, maybe not. I don't know where else he'd be. Yep, this guy has done absolutely nothing wrong. That takes you outside. We're breaking into this guy's bedroom now. Look! He is an absolute saint. What's in these things? Bowl torch, bowl torch, shovel yarn, quick save again, open the final door. He has done nothing with his life at all. He is absolutely beautiful in every way. Even in this chest at the foot of the bed, you know, with nothing. It's empty. Dude lives a just and virtuous life. And we just broke in to his house. And now I'm going to be able to tell the dude that no one is following him and you're an absolute moron. Empty. Just empty. Right, let's pop back let this dude know he's being an absolute idiot. No one's following you. No one's stalking you. It's always the people that have nothing to offer that assume they're, they're being stalked. Why would someone stalk you? Why would the government track you? I don't mean stalking is in person to person. I meant government tracking. Conspiracy style stuff. So, what did you discover? He's fine. He's not spying on you. And you expect me to believe that? Yeah. Now I know for sure that they are all in on it. And therefore, they all have to die. Starting with you. I respect you for using your fists. I respect that. Glathir is dead. My attempt to convince him that there were no conspiracy against him has ended in tragedy. Glathir's key gold lockpick. Right. Now, he's dead. Which is tragic. But it does mean there might be stuff in his house. Maybe the real conspiracy was the friends we made along the way. All right, let's just go see where Glathir's house, it was this one just here. Use the key. In we pop. All right. So this is the house of a random conspiracy nut job. There's books everywhere. Mysticism, mysticism, mysticism. Spirit of the Daedra. All right, so yeah, we've got we've got some some dodgy stuff going on here. Oh, very occult and esoteric daggers and knives and skulls and stuff. Yeah, this is not a well individual. Oh, door to the basement. I see what's going on down here. Yeah, the day draw probably had nothing to do with this. Yeah, this is a, a normal basement for a normal normal type of person, to be honest. There's nothing nothing creepy about what's going on down here. We've got notes, notes. Bernadette Penless is not involved in the conspiracy. At least so my new acquaintance tells me. I hope it's true, but my instincts are really wrong. But I have no reason to suspect treachery yet. The report on Tutius Sexitus should help me decide where my friend's loyalties lie. 
Good news, I may still have a chance, a stranger who can move freely. I'll have proof against Bernadette by tonight. Oh, the dude is like... The, stra the supposed stranger is likely involved. Interesting. Right. Marukit selectives most likely, ruthless and secretive. The blades, supposedly. The mythic dawn. This dude is like convinced that everyone has a conspiracy against him and yet just nothing happened. I actually quite like that. That It's a quest where the, the dude is convinced he's being followed but he's just not. Copper ring, pearl. There's books everywhere. This guy's apartment is crazy. More chests. I mean, I'll take that ring because, let's be honest, you don't need it anymore. What's up here? Stuff he's stolen. More chests. Shears. Parchment. Pot. An iron battle axe when he has to fight his way. This dude is... He is a little bit insane, isn't he? Just checking all the stuff in his room. See what there is. I'm just auto picking my way through all of the uh, all the stuff. Does that quest? Oh, hang on. Does that quest end differently if you do it and you believe him the entire time? Hello, Ib. Welcome to the stream. If you believe him, I'm guessing you get a different quest ending. I'm guessing he still probably tries to kill you though. At some point, does he still try to fight you? Or do you get uh, do you get to see a different side of him? It has four to five endings. He dies in most. Maybe you just say you can find his death list and you can let the guards kill him instead. Ah, oh, okay. By killing someone else who followed him, he demands that you kill them. Right. There's a lot of stuff going on. This dude's very, very unhealthy. Now, I have just taken some stuff from his house. You're lucky I don't punch you. Right, ladies and gents, it is 11 o'clock. I need to go to bed. It's been three and a half hours, way longer than I normally stream for. I am hoping to have a video out on Monday on the Josh Strife Plays channel, and I am hoping it's going to be Was It Good Amnesia? Because I recently replayed the entirety of the cult horror game Amnesia, because I've never played it before. Turns out, yeah, it's a really good game. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. It's been lovely to have you. I will see you on Monday, and we will continue Twitch streaming. Monday is a Tangent Tavern episode. Wednesday will be a, the continued adventures of Twitch chat on Oblivion. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Take care. Good night. And God bless.